Hello, everyone, and welcome to yet another race of the Pokemon Let's Go Any Percent No Mount Skip Tournament 20 the 23. Uh, today we have Headstrong versus Iron. I'm Leggy Starscream. Joined with me in the booth is the ever wonderful Randall Eats Cheese. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing great. It's going to be a great race. We got Headstrong, we got Iron. We got Eevee, we got Pikachu, we got everything you can possibly ask for. Maybe we'll even have some uh, fun stuff. Mm -hmm. be great. After yeah, all... Yeah, both... Oh, mm -hmm. sorry. After all, was... last night, Head Headstrong got a super-sized Chansey in Mount Moon. Let's see if she can make that happen again. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know... So many wild things can happen here, both good and bad, but both of these runners are both incredibly strong. This is one of the closest matches we're likely to see in this uh, round one tournament. Um, yeah. on only just over six minutes uh, between these two runners' PBs. So that's well within the variance of how this game works. Yeah, and they've both been practicing really hard the last, like, week or two, so so we know it's going to be a really good race. Yeah, there have been a lot of races firing in the tournament Discord, and, you know, it's so exciting to see all the people, you know, coming out here like it's a Rocky montage training for this tournament. Um. Yep. Over in the racetime.gg room, we have started the countdown. So our runners are going to get underway very, very shortly. Um, luckily, we've got a little bit of time to talk about what we're going to see. Uh, for those of you in the chat who might not be as familiar with this game or this run... When they finish the game after three hours, what is the level of their Pokemon? Uh, typically, the uh, Starmie, which you're using as your maid, is finishing in uh, the low 50s. Yeah. Yeah, somewhere in that 52 to 54 ratio, depending on things. Yeah. Uh, so, Iron and Headstrong are ready to go. And we're off. So welcome to the world of Pokemon. Uh, Professor Oak's going to give us the good old lowdown and all that. Of course, the most important part, and the reason you at home should be pogging, Iron got a girl Pikachu. Yes, absolutely. We're also going to see Headstrong probably select girl one, and we'll see, I don't even know what Iron's going to select, but it's going to be great. Girl 3, let's go. Oh, heck yeah. The nice thing is, especially in a race setting like this, picking any one of the options doesn't take that much time, though Girl 3 is technically the furthest away from the start. So, yeah. like, I love the swag. I love the swag. We already had one world record set on Girl 3. Are we about to see another one? <laughs> That would be the hypest. Girl 3 and a female Pikachu. Let's go. Yo. That'd be great. And so now that our... The overworld. Yeah. Now that our runners have been fully isekai into the world of Pokemon, um, we're going to take a minute, pause, go into our menu, and... Uh, set a few quick options, most of which should be fairly straightforward if you've played a modern Pokemon game before. Fast tech speed, uh, turning off battle effects, turning battle style to set, and giving us the ability to skip pre-rendered cutscenes. Yep. Sadly, that does not include this one. Yeah, there's a lot you were going to still be sitting through. Uh, Trace 1, I don't even know what this, this kid's name is. Uh, he's going to talk to us about something. I don't even know. We're just going to go over and get our starter Pokemon. Mm -hmm. Hi, Mom. Bye, Mom. 
Yep. <laughs> Shout out to the mom cameo here in this run. Uh, <laughs> hey, she gets a speaking role later. Oh wait, yeah, you're right. Never mind. It's not a cameo. It's a, it's a, it's a yeah. Imagine if we had like voice acting in this game outside of just being cheap and easy. <laughs> I have voice a really acting in a Pokemon game that I need to talk about later, but I'll, I'll hold off on it for a bit. All right, all right. I like that. You know, <laughs> letting it simmer, building anticipation. Like that's just good showmanship. Exactly. Um, so, our runners have encountered their starter Pokémon, we're going to get the tutorial on how to catch Pokémon using the motion controls, uh, which is definitely the biggest departure between this and the mainline games. Uh, you literally have to throw the Pokémon at a, a circle, similarly to how you would do it in Pokémon Let's Go. Uh, Headstrong gets a very perfect EV throw, while Iron, unfortunately, the motion controls are kind of jank, goes off to the side, gets the Pikachu on the second try. Yep. Unfortunately, missing the throw gives you, like, this weird text box where the game's, like, trying to tell you how to actually throw the ball or something. I don't even know. <laughs> uh, one thing to notice, uh, I guess, is Iron's Pikachu had 26 CP, combat power. Uh, combat power is, like, it's kind of a meaningless stat, but it can sometimes have a little bit of meaning. It sort of gives you an idea of how good your your starters are, uh, as it's like it takes the sum of all of your stats. Uh, since his Pikachu is 26, that means he has a nature that's not neutral, because neutral actually decreases the sum of your total stats or the total of your stats. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So we'll be seeing what Iron actually has. Uh, I'm just going to predict it's going to be uh, I don't know, lonely would be a really nice nature to have. I'm totally it now, Modest. Modest would uh, not be as good. <laughs> oh, but... I know. I, I, I'm here to do a little trolling. Uh, uh, the Eevee is careful. And uh, the Pika... Okay, well, uh, Naughty! Oh, oh. Naughty. <laughs> Everybody's favorite uh, characteristic. Taking a lot of siestas. Uh, going to have a lot of HP on Pikachu, which is mm -hmm. kind of a wrong, but it's fine. Do you want to explain how the characteristics work? Uh, the uh, characteristics. Every Pokemon has a characteristic, just as much as it has like a nature and stuff like that. In this game, whatever, depending on what the characteristics are, it will signal that your Pokemon is going to get more AVs in some stat or should get more AVs. Uh, so, Iron's Pikachu characteristic is like, it takes plenty of siestas. That is That signals that he should be getting more awakening values in HP as the run goes on. So we might see a really fat Pikachu uh, <laughs> as the run goes on. I didn't see what Headstrong's characteristic is, but it's, it's definitely good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Obviously, you know, getting extra points in your stats is never bad, though getting more points in certain stats is obviously going to be slightly better than others. Uh, yeah. Specifically, we're trying to go fast. Um, Eevee it does care about speed to a certain extent. Uh, Pikachu actually just straight up has a base 120 speed and runs circles around basically every Pokemon in this game. Yeah. But obviously... Yeah. Oh. Time for Eevee to ride uh, Headstrong's head and Pikachu to ride Iron's shoulder. I'm gonna come up on our first fight of the game. Uh, very scary fight. Uh, Iron actually might be able to die. Uh, Headstrong probably won't. Yeah. I've died on this fight uh, within the past week. It was what? honestly kind of tragic. Um, you only have the one attacking move. Uh, there's not much Eevee can do to your Pikachu on Iron Side to really affect how long the fight's going to take uh, with a neutral special attack. Uh, this is going to be a four shot unless there's a crit involved. On yeah, Headstrong Side, it's usually, what, a three shot by default? 
Yeah, let's see if we get... Oh, okay, Pikachu really likes hitting Eevee, so it's gonna be a guaranteed three shot here. Now let's see. Iron's going through the fight so far. So far, pretty standard fight. Growl doesn't exactly do anything to a Pikachu, so that wouldn't matter. Oh, mm -hmm. there's a Growl. Right. And they're through. Yeah, but both of our runners through just fine. Uh, the only difference is that Iron has exactly one more experience point on his starter than Headstrong does, yep. uh, which does in fact make a difference, as I've learned today. Yeah. Um, yeah in so we're coming up on our first like non-rival fight. Uh, it's like a youngster with a rat, because of course, uh, the rat gives you 12 experience, which uh, leaves you one short of hitting level 6 if you're playing Eevee and you're running away from Pidgeys like Headstrong is right now. Uh, but it will give Iron the level up here, so he'll be able to see where his AV is going. It's probably going to be HP. Uh, uh, here on this fight. Yep, Headstrong's going to have to wait one more fight to uh, see her EV get up to level 6. Yep. But luckily this fight is an easy two shot for both our runners. Yeah. So let's see where the AV is going. It's going into attack, not bad. Okay, all right, so all right. Iron's gonna have a jacked Pikachu actually. Yeah, cool. uh, one mm -hmm. attack AV, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, and I believe the Pikachu is naughty, so that's a plus attack nature, which means as long as you hit level 15, that's going to be a one shot on uh, Misty Starmie with Zippy Zap later. Yeah, yeah, you're right about that. Uh, let's uh, see what we get here. All right, yeah. nothing special in the forest yet. Headstrong elect electing to run by some bugs outside. Uh, if you catch Pokemon in this patch of grass outside of the forest, uh, you still have a, what has been referred to as the newbie bonus, uh, which just increases your catch chance. Uh, some runners will elect to catch either a Caterpie or Weedle if they see one, just for the easy catch, and so that they can start two controller catching once they get uh, into the forest. Yeah, Headstrong getting a special defense AV. Uh, one thing about the natures is whatever your plus stat is, is also going to be more likely to get AVs in that. So both Iron and Headstrong already have made that happen with the careful special defense AV and naughty attack AV. So just kind of some stuff already playing out, playing itself out here on the big screen. Mm -hmm. Um, for now, though, our runners are going to take one more trainer fight before uh, picking up their first item ball on the ground, which is going to contain a lure. Uh, lures are an item ported over to here from Pokemon Go, uh, which have two major effects. First of all, they increase the rate at which Pokemon spawn, and I think... No, I don't think they actually increase the maximum Pokemon that can spawn, just the rate. Yeah, just the rate and also the level that they're going to spawn at. All yeah. the Pokemon after the Lear will spawn at level 7 here. And let's see, Headstrong catch Pikachu, actually. Uh, it's time to run Pikachu over on the left as well. Uh, yeah, there are some quote bonus Pokemon that uh, float around. Um, this Pikachu is one that Eevee can catch, obviously, you know. Uh, it can still spawn on the Pikachu side, but you've already got a Pikachu, so you don't need to, you know, catch a second Pikachu. Um, yeah. And the Pikachu is just going to be guaranteed to be worse than the starter, so you just don't do that. And yeah. we're going to see Iron get his first Leard Poke, and it's going to be an Oddish. Mm -hmm. Oddish is effectively hard required uh, for Pika. Um, because, as it turns out, Brock's Rock-type Pokémon are also ground because Game Freak made some choices back in the day. 
<laughs> yeah. So Pikachu's uh, suite of attacks aren't going to be. Ooh, that's, uh, actually, no, that's not a fat Oddish. It was an Oddish, yeah. so. Already level 8. Mm -hmm. I'm catch some more stuff and level up the Oddish as well. Yeah, the two main reasons we're catching Pokemon is one, as you see, it's worth an absolute pile of experience points. The second major reason is you'll notice we've got the tracker down with a bunch of Pokemon marked, and up in the corner, we have it listed a number out of 50. Um, the way that this game works is that each gym has a little requirement for, like, a mission you have to do to get in uh, to the gym, ranging from... Everything from just having a Pokemon of a high enough level to mm. the most difficult one at Koga's Gym, which is have 50 unique Pokemon in your Pokedex. Yeah, the the challenges range from stuff that you need to do to beat the game anyway, such as getting cut, uh, to stuff that are kind of silly, like just have a Pokemon in your party, uh, to Koga's requirement, which is unfortunately the annoying one. Uh, there's also another gym requirement that's going to be important for us is... Misty's gym, we're gonna need to have a level 15 poke by the time we get there. So, so the experience we get now is going to make a difference. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and even more immediately on the Eevee side, uh, we're looking for level 10 to go into Brock's gym. Unlike Pikachu, which relies on the Oddish to go through Brock's gym. Uh, Eevee is just, you know, strong, independent Pokemon who doesn't need no help. Yeah. Mm. Nice little moment where we we actually had the two Caterpies getting registered to Dex at the same time that I just kind of noticed. Uh, so now Headstrong is going to go ahead and actually do the trainer fight here. It's a bug catcher with a Metapod. Uh, if you hit level 10, you can one-shot it with Tackle. Uh, but usually it's a two-shot, and Iron's doing that right now, actually. Yeah, Pikachu uh, is never not a three-shot. Unless you get a lucky crit or something. You can get a one-shot if you like turbo level. Just have, like, crack attack, but that's uh, not exactly the most common of things. Iron's going to move Oddish to slot 1, because he's going to actually use Oddish for Brock, whereas Headstrong is going to go ahead and use. And let's see, Iron catch a Glowing Rat, if he can run away from that Oddish in the corner as well. Yep. Uh, the Rat catch here is actually really nice, especially because it's glowing. It's a little bit of extra ex experience points here for consistency. And Raticate is not actually that difficult of a catch or rare of a spawn later on. So yeah. uh, this doesn't really lose iron that much. Uh, Headstrong going to catch the Bellsprout because you need a grass type or water type, but there's no water type Pokemon before Brock's gym. Yeah, so you're you're down to Bellsprout or Bulbasaur uh, and Eevee. In Pika, you just use the Oddish full on, so it's kind of taken care of with that. Uh, Headstrong's Eevee is now level 11, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, that is some really nice experience. Not exactly the best of attack stats, and we already know she has my special attack, so we already know it's bad, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, we're gonna get some uh, bug evolutions here. Uh... Yeah. Evolutions take time, but they do count as an additional Pokemon registered. Yeah, so we don't have to catch 50 Pokemon. We can just kind of catch like 20 to 30-ish. And mm -hmm. they'll evolve and all sorts of stuff. We'll also get a few like free Pokemon or like m essentially free Pokemon. Uh, we're also getting double uh, Metapod evolutions at the same time. That's pretty cool. Hell yeah. Um, chat wants to know, how much does Midas Special Attack matter for Eevee? It, it can impact your mid-game when you're spamming a lot of, like, Glitzy Glow and other special attack moves. Uh, but as, but if we go from Headstrong's track record over the last, uh, let's say 24 hours, 
Uh, she's just going to get a supersized Chansey and Mount Moon and level up to 23 uh, by by the time she gets to Misty, like, obliterate that gem requirement. And uh, when you're that over level, it turns out, uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter what your special attack is. That's actually not true, <laughs> but it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Yeah, but for now, uh, we'll worry about that in the future. We have one thing in front of us, one thing standing in our way of going on to the next section of the run, and that's a uh, two or three shot of Brock. Yeah, it's Brock, and for some reason the game devs in this game decided not to make him shirtless, so it's a little sad. It's a bit of a sad version of Brock. <laughs> uh, doing the Wakanda Forever pose. Uh, Wakanda Forever. Unfortunately not shirtless, but that's okay. We'll get our fair share of shirtless characters as the game goes on. I don't know why I said it like that, but yeah. Hey, you know? What else? I don't I don't know what else to say, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, headstrong two shots, uh, the Geodude with double kick, while uh, Oddish just clicks absorb and laughs a little. Just a yeah. little. Yeah. Let's see how long. Let's see if uh, Iron gets the one shot here. He's level. Actually, no. He's level ten. It's guaranteed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. The only way that wasn't going to happen is if Onyx decided to uh, headbutt and cut. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, Iron's, Iron's Oddish is already 16 speed, what the heck? That Oddish is wild. It's, human. <laughs> it's only 10 off of Eevee's speed of 26. Uh, uh. Is that Eevee? Yeah, that was Eevee. Yeah. Yeah, so our runners tied on catches, just about tied coming out of this Brock fight. Yeah. Um, so it's time to do some shopping. Uh, we're going to run into Blue. Uh, it turns out he actually is in this game. Uh, he's not quite uh, as annoying as he is in like past games. He kind of yeah. he's kind of there. Like he's a little bit older, a little bit less of an arrogant jerkwad. Uh, yeah, his okay. theme still slaps, so, you know, I'm really glad they figured yeah. out how to shoot his music. Alright, Iron's gonna be selling some stuff. I'm just gonna get a few extra items, and they're gonna start buying some balls. And we yep. have our good old classic uh, Eevee versus Pikachu war in chat. Uh, vote on your phones now if uh, Pikachu is better. If uh, you think Eevee is better, well, uh, I, I feel sorry for you. Yeah. Like, okay. why pit two amazing cuddly friends against each other when you can just buy both plushies? Or when there's just one correct answer. And it's Pikachu. I mean, uh, yes. Uh, if, I, if I am forced to pick a side, I'm picking Pika every day. Exactly. There we go. All right. So let's see. Oh, shoot. Okay. Headstrong got it at the Nekins. And yeah. Iron's going to turn around to find that Mankey. Yep. All right. So both of our runners picking up a another uh, bonus catch. Um the Ekans and the Mankey are not guaranteed to show up. Uh, they can, and it's always great, because it's both a little bit of extra experience, and also, you know, what extra catch is always what extra catch. <laughs> You'll love to see it. Yeah. So, Iron unfortunately leveled up the rat, but honestly, that's not too big of a deal, because he's actually getting Beedrill, which means he'll be able to deposit that uh, in Mount Moon before doing any of the random catches. Yeah, um, I don't think uh, we're going to see Butterfree until the first moon catch. Yeah, yeah, on either um, side. Yeah, unless we see like a glowing sand shrew for iron, like immediately. Mm -hmm. Yeah, strange things have happened before. Uh, mm -hmm. Yesterday there was a let's go race where like 
two or three people got Charmanders on Route 3 for some reason. Oh my uh, god. Everyone, everyone was just kind of suffering. But yeah, Charmander exists, for those of you who didn't know that. <laughs> that, that was my point. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sure, you know, all the six-year-olds in chat will be very keen on reminding you that Charmander exists. Yeah. So Headstrong's gonna do the first fight of Mount Moon and gonna do a giant menu while she's at it. Deposit some stuff, such as that Magikarp and the Atkins. And Iron. Yeah, Iron coming up a little bit behind, going to buy his Magikarp. Uh, fastest way to get a dex entry in the game. Yep. And for the surprisingly cheap price, uh, the game ridicules you. It's it's an outrageous five hundred dollars. Uh, no, it's that's nothing. Yeah. So it's absolutely worth it. And Headstrong has Headbutt here for this uh, Bell Sprout, and Iron's gonna two shot this Bell Sprout with Acid. Yeah, uh, Iron's going to be using the Oddish for the first two fights in here uh, before going down the ladder, um, because the second fight in here is against a Sandshrew, and Absorb does a very good job of cleaning it up, where if you're using Pikachu, it becomes... It becomes... <laughs> it's a little spicy! Little spicy! Yeah. So, let's see what that spinner does. Okay, the spinner is nice, but oh, jeez. Headstrong's gonna run around, ring around the Rosie and get the glowing Geodude, and probably also that Paris while she's at it. Level 11 Geodude. That is the maximum level you can see a Geodude unlured here. Uh, no, she already used the Lair, so that's the Lear oh, Geodude. Oh, okay. Yeah. Never mind. The maximum my stats level wrong. is 10. And yeah. So yeah. She's gonna get all her evolutions now. So if she wants to, she can deposit her pokes. She's probably just gonna kind of leave it as it is. Iron's gonna, from his movement, is uh, suggesting that he's probably gonna do the Sandshrew fight here and then go down the ladder. <laughs> and yep, that's what he does. Standard Geodude cycle, pretty good. Uh, and then we're gonna see the Paris, which Headstrong will probably try to YOLO throw and just kinda just hit get ready and throw as fast as possible. And we'll see how that goes. Yeah, how catching experience works is uh, in addition to just getting experience points for catching a Pokemon, you get a number of bonuses for various objectives during the catch. Um, yeah. You get bonus experience for doing one of those synchronized throws with two players. You get bonus experience for catching the Pokemon on the first throw uh, of your Pokeball. You get experience points for the Pokemon being large, small, or small, with additional points if they're supersized. Um, and so our runners are also going to be aiming for getting it in the middle of the ring, getting a great or excellent um, to get additional bonus experience points and just stack those buffs multiplicati multiplicatively on top of each other. Yeah. Uh, it's a lot. That's a lot of buffs, and it's going to get you a lot of experience. So, uh, let's see. Iron also got a glowing Geodude. Uh, didn't quite hit the excellent throw, but that's okay. Headstrong is going to decline Sand Attack, uh, which is not a very good move, at least not to use. It's a little too good when it's used against you. Uh, let's see. So, good things happening all around. Uh, we're probably not going to see any uh, Moonstone shenanigans here on this run for either of them. But yeah, who the... knows? Maybe, maybe, maybe we'll get a, a, a pleasant or unpleasant surprise. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, both of our runners have exceptionally high uh, catch counts for not having picked up the Moonstone yet. Ooh, okay, Headstrong gets a Clefairy, too. So, Yo! Two, actually. Uh, not that the second one really matters. <laughs> yeah, so for Headstrong, that's all three of the main catches you're going for down here. Yep. Uh, 
He's and with cool. up and just uh, deposit the two pokes right now. Okay. Yep. Uh, Butterfree can be a little bit of a troll if you get up to uh, level 13, I believe, is when it learns all three powder moves in the same level. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So Headstrong's EV is now level 15. It's not quite 23 like yesterday. Like her <laughs> yesterday, but uh, still really good stuff. And Iron has an, a, a Paris. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, still looking for the Clefairy. Um, from the Paris, that's interesting. Yeah. Ah, just a little outside that tiny, tiny circle. Yeah. Oh, oh, the fairy. All right. Not that yeah. Headstrong could really. Oh, rip. Unlucky. Uh, <laughs> and Paris is just kind of uh, standing in her way, which is not fun ever. Uh, this Sand Shrew coming up here is going to be a one shot because Headstrong is level 15 already. So she's just going to go ahead and deposit her party now because she doesn't have to worry about getting poisoned on this fight. Yeah, Iron continuing on. Um, yep. still looking Ooh, Otter? for... Oh, yeah, he's just not gonna bother. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe if it was glowing! <laughs> yeah, Onyx is a bit of an annoying catch, so... Somewhat yeah. reasonable to just ignore it. Uh, the memer inside of me obviously wants to see all Onyxes and Chanseys in balls, or, like, breaking out of them at worst. <laughs> yeah, Iron still has a little bit more time based on where he uh, used the lure, just in case, and there's the Clefairy. Yes, weird Clefairy? Yeah, that's still weird. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you lure right before... Throw. If you lure right before going down the ladder, you can carry the lure almost to the first rocket grunt. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Headstrong's still getting really fun spawns, even long after the layers have worn off. Uh. So yeah, we're, we're kind of seeing the experience stacking here with all the experience bonuses, because Headstrong is already level 15, and because Iron has been missing the excellent throws, he's still level 13, I would say. Yeah, which is unfortunate. Um... Iron's going to definitely need uh, to either do Misty second or catch uh, some basically anything at this point. Oh, the troll! Yeah, you know Pikachu looks really peaceful when it's like asleep, and same for Eevee. Obviously, you don't want to see that ever. Uh... Well, not in a speed run. Yeah. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see what Iron does for experience, or if he just does Nugget Bridge early. Uh, my vote is level 14 is fine because that's nothing a supersized chance he can't fix. You know. <laughs> I was figuring you were gonna say that. Uh, <laughs> there are two extremely rare uh, spawns that we can see here. Uh, both the Chansey and uh, Clefable, if uh, the game Ooh. decides to feel a little spicy. Yeah, so we'll see what we'll see what happens here. They're yeah. both doing fairly easy fights. Yeah. Chad is also pointing out that, you know, obviously if he sees a sand shrew on the way to Cerulean, that's optimal. But if he sees basically any Poke Buddy hasn't already caught yet, uh picking that up will basically help recover things. Yeah. One thing that b happened on both screens there is we actually saw the Grass Poke hit level 14. Uh, Headstrong and Iron are probably going to both hold the Bellsprout and what's its face, Oddish, in their party until it hits level 21 and evolves to their second stage. Uh, reason, reason being is it's just a second poke in your party for catches and also just it's also just a nice poke to get. Uh, unfortunately, there are a lot of levels and moves uh, in the in between until you get to level 21. Uh, Iron's learning the moves right now because Oddish's main moves come at 12, 13, and 14. 
Uh, there's another move at 18. Uh, yes. Whereas with Bell Sprout, those levels that give moves are 12, uh, 16, 17, and 18. <laughs> also, yeah. Strong's on Jesse and Chains. Uh, this fight should be pretty easy for her because Eevee gets a stab on Headbutt, which means that these Headbutts should be dealing a good amount of damage. In fact, this coughing is about 60-some uh, percent range here with Headbutt, so it should be pretty good. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't get it, but it's fine. Over on Ironside, we figured out what his solution for fixing his experience round is going to be. He found a glowing Zubat uh, before this fight and uh, picked that up. That's going to smooth out of his smooth out his experience curve, letting him hopefully pick up level 15 off the Jesse and James fight. Grabs the dome fossil. Let's go. Love whoa, to see whoa, it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dome. <laughs> what, 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 is, what is iron cooking? Look, I support heresy. Why would you? Nah, honestly, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here's the Jesse and James fight, by the way. Yeah, so on the Pika side, you set up one uh, X special attack. Uh, start thundershocking things, and then use Onish's Acid Attack, which is a spread move to hopefully chip things down over the course of three turns. So, we'll see Iron spamming Thundershock and Acid. I'm gonna go for the three turn fight here. Should be able to get it. Paris, unfortunately, learning growth, which is kind of annoying. Headstrong's learning a ton of moves right now. Uh, yeah, but uh, th th this time, those are actually, you know, useful and, like, sort of required <laughs> and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, in, in the Let's Go games, there are move tutors that appear in three different Pokemon centers across the Kanto region that will teach your starter Pokemon some special moves uh, specific to that starter Pokemon. Uh, for Eevee, you get moves based off of the types of the uh, non-fairy Eevee evolutions. For Pikachu, you get Zippy Zap, which is just a fairly strong, very fast electric move that always crits. You also get the ability to fly and surf, but I don't think anyone's ever used those ever. Yeah. The starters gain a lot of really fun moves. Uh, they have very cool names that don't sound like some somebody like I don't know doodled, doodled it on a pad or something. Uh, see how Headstrong does not get the one shot on Goldeen, which is honestly kind of expected with kind of special attack. Yo, we got a Sand True. We got Sand True. Uh, Iron's already level fifteen, but it's still nice to just get more experience. <laughs> Waits it out for the attack, and we'll get the excellent throw here. And Headstrong is going to heal the full for Misty, uh, because Misty Starmie does deal a lot of damage. Uh, apparently, apparently, yesterday when she was level 23, she just like full on outsped Starmie. Uh, that's not a very common appearance uh, for those of you who kind of haven't figured it out yet. Being, uh, getting a super sized Chansey is not, is not very common. <laughs> uh. And the screens we're looking at are probably also not too common, but that's okay. Yep. Uh, we see Eevee coming out against the Psyduck as uh, our wonderful restreamer tonight. Uh, Aspect gets things all together. So, you know, yeah. shoutouts! Aspect's doing really well. Like, yeah. He's had some really strange stuff to deal with already. Anyways, uh, the Starmie is going to use Scald. And get the 30% burn, because of course. Uh, but fight's still safe. So it's okay. And so Headstrong's going to have to menu here and heal the burn. Uh, still has a crazy amount of HP, so might not even need to heal the HP. Because it turns out uh, Bouncy Bubble, one of the learns, one, one of the moves that uh, she learned in the center. 
actually just heals your HP for you, so... Mm -hmm. It's all good. Yeah, it's a water-type attack that does, like, 50% uh, lifesteal. Um, yeah. The other two moves, uh, Sizzly Slide and... Buzzy if you get the electric... I, I, I keep just wanting Buzzy to say Buzz. Zippy Zap all the time because, you know, Pika Runner. Yeah. Like, honestly, who cares about the Eevee moves? Like, there's, <laughs> there's so many moves that Eevee uses that just sound really weird. Yeah. Um, Buzzy Buzz is the electric one. That move always paralyzes. Uh, and... and the, Fire um, one always burns. Yep. The water one always... Uh, Waters? I don't know. It, like, you 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 gain your you, you gain the HP back. It's like an absorb move. Yeah. Iron's gonna be spamming Zippy Zap here. He's gonna set up to plus two on Misty, and then because of his nature, he's gonna get a one shot. And yeah, there are some more fun moves as you go along in the game. Headstrong is gonna teach another one later on in the run. Uh, Iron probably won't, unfortunately. So. We probably won't be seeing, uh, I don't even know what the other moves are called. Um, I can Daddy look it, I can look it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, in the meantime, uh, Headstrong is, is through the next rival fight on her way up Nugget Bridge as Iron is getting ready to take out Misty. Yep. So, dude, Iron's Pikachu's already 44 attack at level 16. Uh, safe to say that's a little high compared to normal. Uh, neutral attack with no AVs. The attack is like 35, I want to say. So, uh, Plus attack and also a good amount of AVs is clearly making a difference. Uh, Headstrong is on to the Psyduck, which you have Buzzy Buzz for, but you can just headbutt if you have enough PP, which you almost always do. So we're going to see the headbutt coming out. Yeah. Um, God, the, these move games are... Splishy Splash? Splishy Splash? <laughs> Correct. That 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 is honest to god the name. Splishy splash. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, Headstrong's fighting this uh, Sandshrew here. Pikachu doesn't exactly have the best moves to deal with it, but Eevee just acquired bouncy bubbles, so we're gonna see this one shot. Meanwhile, Iron's doing the rival fight. I can't tell if these are like made up move names in chat. Splishy Splash. I know Batty Bat is actually the name of the move, which I still can't believe, but whatever. Yeah. Nice. Oh, so, by the way. Uh, yeah. So the, the there's no the, way Easy Frost is a move, right? Oh, it, it is. Uh, also, I was wrong. You do get a fairy type move called Sparkly Swirl. Okay, that's not as bad. You know what? Like, uh, it, it is, is a fairy type. Move. So, like. I guess that makes sense. That's true. Like, I, I, I'm just like, I'm just thinking, like, considering all of the other, like, moves and the track record, like, these game devs have, I feel like it would have just been, like, Sparkly Spark. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But just, like, Sappy Seed, Glitzy Glow, Freezy Frost. Floaty fl Fall is honestly probably my favorite of them. I would say, like, I would say probably Batty Bad for me. <laughs> uh, also, like, all these fights are kind of boring for the most part. Iron might one control where the next, next, uh, no, in two fights on the Sandshrew, or he might do a two controller fight. Uh, two controller just lets you use Oddish to absorb the Sandshrew, whereas. If you want controller, you headbutt and just kind of hope that you get a flinch or like something that's not bad. Mm. VV Volley is a move, yeah. 
Uh, after we're done with the sand true fight on Iron Zen, I'm gonna. I think I'll talk about the the EV content that is great. Oh yeah. In, in quotes, uh, Headstrong getting an <laughs> HP AV here at level 18. So continuing to be the fattest EV ever. Uh, mm -hmm. I'll be hitting level 18, but choosing not to go for uh, Buzzy Buzz, instead just using Headbutt. Not getting the flinch, but not getting anything bad, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, while well, Iron is pulling out the two controller strats for, you guessed it, yet another Sand True. Yep. Yeah. So... We'll see. Okay, Headstrong gets an Eevee that's kind of running all over the place, kind of running off to Narnia. Oh, another one, also running off to Narnia, but still, but because it spawned later, it's a lot closer. <laughs> so she's gonna go ahead and catch that. Uh, so, so one thing that we were talking about, like pokes that, or like this game not having voice acting, like outside of the two starter Pokemon. There's one alternate universe that I can think of for the voice acting where it's like just absolutely goaded. And that's actually on Eevee. Like in this case, Eevee would be better. Just flat out. Imagine if Eevee was voiced by the the guy who like in like Wind Waker, like I think it's like Beetle or something like that. The guy who goes like, thank you. <laughs> just imagine Eevee doing that. <laughs> Eevee! Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's uh, that's my little TED talk. I don't know. Did I call it? Did I call me out? Then you. <laughs> yes, you did. My bad. <laughs> I'm like, dang. When did Headstrong get to Route 17? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Route 17 has EVs. Uh, we're probably not going to see either of them catch it, but like, who knows? You you, you never know. Um. Headstrong definitely won't. Iron might if things get a little bit uh, too desperate. Yeah. Probably won't. We probably won't see that happen, but it will be funny. Imagine, like... Like, Headstrong has a Pikachu. Imagine if Ed, if Iron gets an Eevee, like, Runception or something, Gameception or something? I don't know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay. Uh, as Iron takes out the rocket grunt at the end of Nugget Bridge, Headstrong is in this weird little house that has a Minorito in it. Not sure why she doesn't catch it. Uh, but there's a computer here and someone forgot to log out, so, you know, let's read their email. Yeah. Uh, Bill's been doing too much... Uh... Comic Con late, lately, and he can't undo his uh, Nidorino costume, so we gotta do it for him. Uh, we'll see if I have any useful encounters, and it's looking like a no, so he's just gonna leave. <laughs> and now that we've ha helped Bill get out of what it is, I assume, the Pokemon World version of a Morph Ball. A Morph Ball? Jesus. Uh, let's see. So, Headstrong's heading back to Cerulean. And Iron's doing the last fight here in this section before he goes to uh, meet Bill in his good old Nidorino cosplay. Uh, we're gonna see a very rare spawn right now on Headstrong's screen, and it's a Squirtle. <laughs> Imagine if we get a Squirtle in one of these races. Like, that would be pretty funny. That would be incredible. Shiny Squirtle. I'm obviously asking for too much, but that's what I do, hey. so... Hey, you know, shoot for the moon, and if you miss, well, you're probably stuck in space and you're having a bad time. You've probably reached the stars anyways, yeah. So, uh, Detective Eevee's doing a little bit of sleuthing. Uh, something bad must have happened in this house, and oh, 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 what is that? Uh, oh god, yeah, it's a bear! Check out this uh, little hole in the wall. Eh, a little spackle will fix it. Yeah, yeah, a little uh, sparkly swirl would would fix it. I'd say that's the name of the move, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, 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 Wally Wall. Wally Wall. Yeah, 
<laughs> Honestly, that would, uh, yeah, that would definitely Pulled. work. Sponsored by Pixar. True. So, a uh, little, little cutscene, uh, now you may kiss. Um, we'll see, we'll see what's going on. We're just kind of doing some cutscenes and movement. Headstrong's going to be picking up some items soon. Also going to get some uh, revives from behind her own ear or something like that. Oh, stuck in her hair. I actually read the text for once. Amazing. <laughs> uh, there's also I... a few more revives, so uh, three revives. Hopefully we don't use any of them. Usually you don't, so uh, thanks, I guess. But when you need them, you're really glad you have them. True. Um, like, the fight where I find myself reaching for them the most is Bad Archer. So yeah. Squirtle running away again. Officer Jenny gonna go give chase, because very rare, rare, rare encounters. You tend to want to get some of those. Mm -hmm. uh, the Headstrong pick up a nugget. Uh, here's Detective Pikachu on the right, by the way. Uh, more sleuthing. Uh, yeah, this house still looks kind of messed up, even though Eevee and Headstrong already went through it. Yeah, they haven't even picked up the mug yet. Like, yeah. come on, people. Like, just because your house got ravaged, like, it doesn't mean that you have to leave it like that. But whatever. Yeah. Headstrong's causing the eat a meowth, by the way. I, I, I called it Eevee again. Uh, <laughs> uh, welcome to Route 6, by the way. Yeah. Uh, Route 6 on the Eevee side is just a bunch of useful catches uh, for the sake of catching. Uh, Vulpix is really nice, uh, very quick. You can catch a Pidgey here if you want. Um, if you're feeling kind of spicy, you can catch a Rattata here. You can catch um, a You can catch a Chansey. Um, but on the Eevee side, the big ones are a Jigglypuff. The Vulpix, and more commonly the Chansey, but still fairly rare, the Abra. Yeah. Uh, so, Headstrong getting a glowing Vulpix, so that's pretty good. Uh, she's probably going to go turn around and grab the rare candy off in the middle of nowhere. It's actually not all that far, to be honest. Mm -hmm. So... Back to the catching segment. We'll see what other spawns show up. Nothing over on the left, so feel a little bad. Yeah. Not gonna grab the. Ooh, an Abra. Gonna grab an Abra. Oh, hello. Okay, look at that. Gonna nanob the Abra to try to get it to stop moving. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, can't get the circle. Uh, weird auto centering on the throw right there. Uh, but. You know, at this point, you're just happy to get the Abra. This is not a Pokemon you're necessarily super worried about the experience on. Yeah. Uh, Iron picking up a Pretty Wing. There are some extra hidden items that Headstrong didn't grab. They're kind of randomly generated. Sometimes they're really cool, like an extra nugget or like other stuff. Also, Headstrong's gonna, yeah, just kind of walk by those two trainers. They're too busy staring at each other to notice that someone just walked by. Uh, yeah, it's actually unlike, a skip, but yeah. Yeah, there's like a small window where their hitboxes don't actually touch that you can just walk on right through. Uh, there's yeah. a reason the category is no mount skips, not no skips. Yeah. Because then uh, we'd have see, to Iron like have a whole debate. Yeah. Iron's kind of uh, just not getting anything right now. Okay, well, yeah. it's a puff, I guess. Kind of not what you really want on Pika, so we'll see what Iron does here. Yeah, Pikachu really wants the Growlithe. Yeah, um, or an Abra. But right yeah. now, I'm not getting either, so uh, this is looking a little shaky. Headstrong is still buying some stuff, uh, which is kind of why we're not saying too much. Uh, the items do yeah. have meaning, they're all cool. Yeah, we also have to buy a guard spec. That one's not as cool, but it's still important. <laughs> yeah, the long chart of it is Headstrong's buying a couple of extra healing items, 
uh, a stack of great balls because now from now on all catches will be caught using two great balls. Um, some extra lures, uh, a repel, and then There's just a pile of X items. Dog. There's the puppy. Uh, so Iron still got a Growlithe. Took a bit, unfortunately, but it's okay. Mm -hmm. Growlithe's kind of just kind of standing around doing nothing, so Iron's a little intimidated. Uh, abilities aren't really a thing in this game, but I accidentally made the pun, and ah, it broke out the ball. Ah, uh, unfortunately. It's guaranteed, though, so it's fine. Yeah, and with the dog being level 17, it does come with Flamethrower, which Iron will be using to take care of a lot of the Pokémon that Pikachu's electric attacks can't quite deal with. Yeah. So here's um, here's another rival fight. Uh, he was just kind of downstairs at, at the entrance of the boat. Uh, he already he he actually secretly knows teleport. So he went to the captain already. Got got cut or whatever the the actual thing is called in this game. Uh, the guy's a little sick, but it doesn't really matter because it's it's fighting time. Uh, so it's time to fight. We'll I see. believe it's called slicey slice. Slicey slice. <laughs> I don't know if you're serious or not, but I'm, I'm calling it that now. Slicey Slice. Uh, Captain taught uh, Trace Slicey Slice, and but he is a little sick, so we're gonna go up to him. But first, we gotta fight. His trainer's yeah. eyes met or something. I don't even know. The yeah. rules are a little big on that front. Oh, it's going to get really excited if Iron... Yeah. All the same thing to me. Yeah. I was going to get really excited if Iron decided not to sell the Dome Fossil. That'd be so, so messed up. But, like, honestly, at this point, commits a bit. Right? Uh, so, anyways... Tabu Iron's still blind, so. name. Let's go. So, Pikachu using Quick Attack. No, just generally when you two controller this fight, you kind of, unless you're outsped by Pidgeotto, it doesn't really matter what the rival does. So, good stuff there. Uh, Iron's going to be also two controlling the fight, I'd imagine. And here's our seasick uh, slicey slicer, dicey dicer, something, I don't even know. Choppy chop. Choppy chop? Or choppy I don't know, chopper. I'm just through. No, I think that's the One Piece character. All right, what is it called? It's Chop Down. Okay, it's not as okay. ridiculous as anything we've been saying. Yeah, no, the HMs are, you know, much more mundane than the special moves, the special combat moves. Yeah. Um, also, chat pointing out head, Headstrong low-key pacing. Yeah, that's what I was doing pretty well. We're we're t we're busy talking about like slicey slice and dicey dice or whatever the hell, but like uh, it's time to leave the boat. Iron's gonna go fight the rival, by the way. Uh, yeah, like the fight here is relatively straightforward as long as you've got a certain amount of experience. Um, Kika does uh, to controller it with the newly acquired dog. Um, yeah. Just to help take care of the Oddish. The Oddish. I, I could I couldn't remember if it had evolved or not yet. I was just straight up blind kick. Yeah, it doesn't evolve until like actually. Oh no. Okay. Well, headstrong go, leaning a little left here, so we're gonna see yeah. another of the the weird name weirdly named moves put to use here against Picnic or Isabel with the Charmander. <laughs> uh, we also might see some more Charmanders later in this run. Uh, so, time to get a free heal of absolutely zero HP, because Eevee's already full HP. Yeah. Uh, but yes, no, I'm also manifesting Charmanders. Uh, of course, hitting this optional is way less rough for Eevee, because you've got three yeah. different you have uh, special actually moves. One shot. Yeah. Pika oh, can still... Headbutts. Yeah. Like, you could, if your attack's good enough, you can try and zippy zap. 
Uh, but even then, like, Zippy Zap PP is something you're managing so much throughout this section. Like, uh, if you do any optional strats, you're basically out by the time you get through Route 10. Yeah, so. Headstrong's out of the underground. Last underground we're going to see for a while. Uh, Iron's going to go into uh, Choppy Chopper. He's his uh, his health is still a little choppy, so it's time to give him another back rub or neck mm -hmm. rub. Uh, also, we're going to head over there, old fellow, now uh, and go fight. It's time for the uh, the fabled battle, Eevee versus Eevee. Uh, who's going to win? Let's find out here on Headstrong's screen. Well, first, she's going to go ahead and leer, and also deposit. Or right, never mind, she's not going to deposit. <laughs> she's just going to leer. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what Headstrong still has in her party right now. Uh, she has Vulpix and uh, what did she catch? Abra. Oh wait, the Abra's not evolved yet, so that's why she's not depositing. So, yeah. Guard spec. Uh, tail whip. Yeah, this Eevee has a very fun move set of Tail Whip, Growl, Swift, and uh, Sand Attack. So, using the guard spec to not just lose all accuracy while setting up. And basically not getting any attack AV, so that's not going to get the one-shot there, even at level 20. And here is the Gloom. Uh... Yeah, Pikachu has to two-controller through these two fights, uh, because... Have you ever tried to use Zippy Zap on this Gloom before? I Let what? me tell you, oh, it'd no. be great. Fire, no! No! Well, hey, hey, hey! Iron was doing it to even out the race. Now hey. they both hit an optional, and, you know, it's fair. It's, you know, uh, yeah. sportsmanship or something. I don't know. I'm words. Something, yeah, I don't even know either. Uh, Headstrong deposited the ball picks here. Uh, the Abra's not going to evolve after this fight, unfortunately, so it's fine to just kind of do this here. Uh, Bellsprout not doing anything too bad to Pikachu here, so. Okay, where Jeff is down. Uh, and we'll see if Iron gets some more spawns. Because uh, he kind of caught nothing on his first pass, but does not get anything here either, so it's a little unfortunate. Yeah, but I don't know what... Weird, it could be as low as level 11, so it's not worth catching it. I don't know what it is, what it is about Route 6, but I think it's just cursed for Pika Runners. Honestly, yeah. Uh, you really want it to be really good on... Pika. Uh, there's been talk of just not even bothering doing Route 6 on Eevee nowadays. Mm -hmm. uh, shouts to T-Pat who refuses to catch chances but will skip Route 6 and and also will catch Mewtwo with one Premier Ball. Like that was that was mad respect to T-Pat. <laughs> Dang. Yeah. Oh wait, no, the Abra did evolve. Oh wait, no, because she hit the optional, so she got the optional ex experience on the Abra. Yeah, the Abra's just about to evolve. So, Iron's gonna two controller here. Uh, Pikachu versus Eevee. Uh, this is the fabled fight. That we've seen fight. a couple of times already. Yeah. And Iron's gonna go ahead and menu. Also, Leer right now. So, Kadabra learns Kinesis and Sidebeam on evolution. And now. She can either deposit it, she can kind of do whatever she wants with this app right now. She'll probably deposit it so she doesn't have to see Nightshade sooner or later. Uh... Oh no! <laughs> okay, that's really annoying. I don't even know what this camper has. Uh, it's like a Magikarp and like a Goldeen or something like that. Picnic or Caitlyn? Uh, there's that's the Goldeen. Goldeen. Fish. Goldeen is a fish, yes. Uh, there are a lot of things that are fish, and there's a lot of things that are not. Uh, and unfortunately, in the PSR community, we have a lot of trouble distinguishing what is what. Uh, but Iron one-shots this Gloom, so that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. You t takes a play out of the more traditional uh, Pika book and falls into second partner Pokemon to heal the Eevee. Yeah. If it can swim, it is a fish. 
All right. <laughs> All right, then. Uh, oh, God, does that mean me a Pidgeot? Uh, that's a little annoying, actually, to get a Pidgeot out of here. But it's fine. Because, yeah, Headstrong's just gonna kill it. Get a useless move anyways from the Pidgeotto. Unfortunately not get the one shot, but that's okay. Uh, she's just gonna use Bouncy Bubble, which is not too big of a deal. Mm -hmm. Iron's gonna use Growlithe here on the Sandshrew, so... We kind of know the Sandshrew is pretty good already. So we're gonna see this Growlithe maybe have a range, but probably not. Yeah. Yep. Like, if you one-shot the Gloom, odds are fairly good you'll take out that Sandshrew, even yeah. at level 17. Yep. Uh, so here's a Krabby Catch here on the left. Crab time. Uh, and Eradicate using Quick Attack on the Growlithe, which actually does matter, because usually you deposit Growlithe and you keep whatever damage you take on it. Mm -hmm. uh, so... Nice crabby catch on the left. Oddish is gonna decline Razor Leaf here on the right. And then we're gonna go catch some Pokemon. Iron will probably not hit an optional. Hopefully not. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Nice Firo on the left. Uh, another Firo. Uh, Double okay, Firo all the way across. Small Firo is nice to see. Yes. Much easier to catch, too. Well, okay, that's a big Nidorino. Oh my gosh! Oh, 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 oh. Alright. Iron, do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Okay, calm down, Palpatine. No. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, Iron gets the Krabby, by the way. Uh, Headstrong has a... might need to repel. Yeah, with Double Crab, Double Fero. Yeah. Okay, she's going to do the fight. Mm -hmm. She might go back to see if she can get some catches after this fight. Uh, doing the fight will reset the route, so... Reset the encounters. Yeah. There's a max of four encounters that you can get on that grass. Sometimes they'll even run off the grass, but they'll still count as part of the four. So you might not even see three, four on screen, and you might have to repel or do the fight. Uh, yeah. Iron has a Nidorina, a Nido female, and a Chansey. And another Krabby now, uh, so he, he's gonna go get that Nito probably. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You, you definitely want to try and catch. You know, if you're going to catch the Chansey, you definitely want to catch the Nito first, uh, yeah. because Pico really wants. Because Pico really wants one or the other of the Nidorans as a partner Pokemon for the next section. Uh, yeah. So, even if you, I think if you catch the Chansey before you see. A Nidoran male, um, you probably just keep Nido Queen because of all the stats you'll have at the, that point from the experience. Yeah. So we'll see what Iron does here. Uh, the People's Hero choice would be to catch that Chansey, but he gets eradicated, so he's gonna catch that instead. Yeah, making up for the Ratata catch uh, before Brock earlier. So he's going to go ahead and catch this Raticate. Uh, Headstrong's just not going to bother going back. Uh, you don't real Nido and Eevee. Uh, can be nice to have still. Uh, and the Rat Rattata, Raticate, you can get those on other routes anyway. So so Headstrong's just going to move on. Yeah, I heard... And get an Onyx. Uh, she's not getting the Onyx, huh? <laughs> yeah, if you look at her uh, cat catch out planning, you know, she's still in a good spot. There's still plenty of Pokemon left. Oh, she is going to be on Oh! Uh, Iron's evolving the Onyx, by the way. <laughs> Time to raspberry this Onyx and see, watch it be really annoying. So let's see how yep. this thing goes. A uh, Rock Tunnel <laughs> Onyx is rough, to say the least. And... No! Okay, whatever, it's fine. Oh, oh, she just ran away. Okay. Then you know, try again. That's fair, you know what? It's time to do slowpoke. Respect for the attempt, but also respect for not throwing the run by repeating it. Uh, I would've I would I would have full on sent it at that point. 
I have aware. Uh, Iron also evolved the uh, Nidorina, by the way, so he doesn't need to catch a Nidorina. <laughs> Headstrong's probably going to have to heal after this fight, unless, like, she gets, like, a, a, a super-sized Graveler and just, like, turbo levels here. Yeah. Which is technically a, still possible. Uh, wouldn't say All likely. Right. Oh, she's turning around to catch something. It's a little hard for me to tell what. Iron's still not turning around to catch that that Chansey, but there's a rat. Or that's a, not a rat. <laughs> it's a okay, it's male. It's not this, this is good. This is good. You want the Nidoran male before you catch the Chansey if you go for the Chansey. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. King is by far the preferred partner Pokemon for Pika. So yeah. <laughs> Say preferred Pika Pokemon five times fast, chat. I dare you. Wait, say what now? Preferred Pika partner. Preferred Pika partner. Oh, that's so annoying. Uh, anyways. <laughs> Headstrong's gonna... Do it, do it, do it. Yeah! Yes! Let's go. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy right now. Oh my goodness. All right, Iron's the real winner of this race. I don't even care what happens. <laughs> He's the real winner of the tourney, you know what? Uh, let's do that attack, that's not unlucky. You know, there's still room for other people to catch up and match him. Uh, that's a... Oh, come on! Alright, he's on. still going for it. Let's keep going, yeah. let's do it. Respect. Okay, another attack. That's Respect. Good. And another excellent. Let's go. Okay, we're doing great. We're doing great. 57%, so, you know... No! No! Chansey, stop it! Okay, there's a Graveler on Headstrong's string. Yeah, I don't know how long is it just gonna take, to be honest, so, uh... Let's yeah. see what this Graveler wants to do here. Does it want to attack, or just... So far, the answer's no. Which is kind of annoying. Uh, Chansey's still not in the ball. And Graveler finally attacked at the wrong time, so that's really annoying. Here we go. This might be the last throw. I don't know. I don't know how Iron's doing over here. I, I don't know what Iron's... Uh... It actually got in. Okay. <laughs> okay. Count all of that 1157 oh. experience with me, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, Chansey happened. Um, unfortunately, didn't get the better than a coin flip multiple times, so... Yeah, I uh, did, not get, did not get the, you know, first throw, did not get the excellent. Well, that's okay. It yeah. got in, and that's all that matters. <laughs> did did Headstrong get a Chansey? Yeah, I don't think so. So, like, I think Iron just well, should win this race. Just hey now, hey now. That. The answer is no. The answer is not yet. Oh, you're right. We had a tournament race with double mansion Chansey already. Let's see it happen again. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Route 16 Chansey time. Oh my gosh. That'd be amazing. Uh, also, in Rock Tunnel, we've seen an Onyx. There are some other rare spawns that can show up, such as Charmander and mm -hmm. also King's Uh and, and you can actually ride a Kangaskhan, for those of you who don't already know that. Yeah. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Come on, do it, please! <laughs> you know, <laughs> we have fun here on Pokemon Speedruns TV, but sometimes you have to know when to go for the memes and when to just go for the W. All the time, no. There's only, there's only one right thing to do with meme runs. Go for it. Also, Nidorino is evolving on the time screen. Uh, but Headstrong is doing a Kangaskhan fight right now. Uh, yeah, so this is what Kangaskhan looks go like. Get a, go get a Kangaskhan of her on, because this Kangaskhan kind of sucks. Yeah. So we're going to bring it to make it suck even more. <laughs> Maybe she'll feel inspired after this fight. Yeah, after the five <laughs> the five hit comet punch. <laughs> I think this is a sign that she should do this. She should, she should actually go get that King's Con. <laughs> oh my gosh.
Uh, of course she doesn't. Why? Alright. Graveler. Oh, she already has one, so it doesn't matter. She already yeah. has a Geodude as well, so that doesn't matter. Uh, I'm nice. gonna wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Take uh, for the tracker to flip. Take a look. Uh, still looking for a Cubone? Um, I had ones. to... Ooh. Not bad. Imagine if Hello. we get a red Kangaskhan. It would probably be super sized. Would you go for it then? It's <laughs> fine. So, okay, level with me. Raz double great uh, Kangaskhan. What's the odds? Uh, it's good enough. Also, nice Graveler for Iron. Unfortunately, not glowing. Ooh, but still good ooh. To get. nice Ry early Rhyhorn. Why is the Graveler attacking at the wrong time? Uh, but getting the catches, Zubat's evolving, I'm gonna learn Crunch after the evolution. Yeah, at this point, we're just kind of going through Rock Tunnel. We're trying to pick up a couple of Pokemon here. Uh, we want to catch a Zubat and evolve it. We want to catch a Machop. We want a Cubone. We want a Graveler purely for the experience. And we want a Rhyhorn, because unlike all the other things we've mentioned, Rhyhorn is actually the first easy-to-get rideable Pokémon. And that was an Onyx spotting right on top on Ironside. Uh, so that's a guaranteed catch for, for Iron. And Headstrong is going to go ahead and go do this fight here, get another thing spawn on top of her, and it's also a Rhyhorn. Uh, but didn't didn't actually run into it. Lucky. Uh, Iron gets the right, so uh, I believe chat gam gamblers are gonna get or lose some points now. Uh, let's see what Iron does with the Sonics. Yeah, he's gonna ride the Rhyhorn first, and oh, he's actually gonna be able to dodge the Onix. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. So he's for those to burn the Machop. Yeah, so for those of you wondering in chat, maybe you did the run a while ago, maybe you haven't watched this run in a little bit. Um, one of the things we found out, like, within the past two or three years, was that uh, what Pokeball your the second trainer uses actually helps your odds in catching Pokemon, which is why we're seeing the double Great Balls, as opposed to the much older strats where runners would throw just regular Pokeballs with the second trainer. Um, yeah. It has made a lot of catches a lot safer. Um, based, such as Chansey. Uh, such as the Graveler and Rhyhorn effectively being guaranteed at this point. Yeah. So we're going to see Eevee X attack and get burnt. That's uh, not ideal. That's not a very common occurrence, I would say. Mm -hmm. uh, but just burn heal, don't get burnt again, and everything is fine. And now we're going to see uh, the Kadabra, probably going to outspeed the Eevee. We haven't really been paying attention to Eevee's speed, but it's hard to imagine that it's randomly outspeeding here. Yeah, we really haven't been paying attention to either trader's uh, stats in general, but uh, yeah, Pikachu's about to level up. That's a 54 special attack. Poo boy. Yeah. yeah, all that matters right now is uh, Iron has cracked attack. Uh, Iron also has a Chansey, uh, and Headstrong does not. Mm. Not even a, a Kangaskhan, which I summoned for her by like talking about Kangaskhan or something. I don't know. Uh, let's see what she does with these spawns. Okay, she's able to dodge them, and she'll talk to the Rhyhorn in the process of it, but that's better than fighting an optional, so it's fine. Yep. Another bat, so that's pretty cool. Bit of a tough, tough set of movement there. Yeah. Iron's catching a key one on the right. Headstrong's almost done with Rock Tunnel. Gonna probably act special and use Bouncy Bubble to heal to more or less full. It is worth noting that Headstrong does not have a key bone at this time, which honestly means that. Uh, her catch round is starting to get a little scary. Yeah. 
But there is another place where you can get Cubans. Uh, it's not exactly the most common of occurrences, but uh, it is possible. Nothing spotting in there is the most common of occurrences. Uh, Iron is going to get the Machop here, and it's going to start jumping because he had to summon the support turn. Ah oh, man, in battle, there's the attack. Nice good old mm, bro fist or something from the Machop, and Headstrong is out of Rock Tunnel. No longer going to need the Leer because uh, she's not exactly in a place where she can get encounters anymore. So I'm just going to say no to it. Yeah. And Growly's going to hit level 25 here on Iron Screen, but that's fine. He's going to need to eventually menu that thing out of there because he wants to put Machop in his party and stuff like that, but it's fine for now. In fact, he's going to do it right now. Yeah. Looking over Headstrong's catch is actually, she's in a better place than I thought she was. Um, you know a runner's a good place when they don't have Tentacool highlighted as a thing they need to catch. At least that's my personal metric for these runs. That's, <laughs> that's pretty fair. Yeah. Right now, right now, Headstrong can potentially get things to work. Uh, let's see what she has marked. Okay, so pretty standard catch route would get her everything that she needs. Uh, yeah. She can Moonstone Clefairy, or like she currently has. Jigglypuff marked, so if she can get him Jigglypuff, she can just Moonstone that. Uh, if not, she can just get a Route 17 Pidgey, evolve that up to Pidgeotto, evolve Clefairy, and yeah, she'll be fine. Very strange yeah. cutout for her. Also kind of weird for Iron as well, but it's looking, it's looking fine for both of them, I would say. And that's honestly one of the things I really love about this game, is that you get into these weird, janky situations that you kind of have to work your way through. Yeah. Oh, getting paralyzed there. That's not fun. Uh, let's see what Headstrong chooses to do here. This uh, rival's probably going to heal the Raichu right here. Yep, there it is. So that's a little annoying. I'm going to be using... Uh, what is it? helping hand here on Neto King to help this Pikachu double kick through this Rhyhorn. Uh, finally, Pikachu's kind of gained the ability to punch through ground types. Still needs a lot of help, but they're not sand shrews, <laughs> so yeah. being weak to fighting, it makes gives it a, a fighting chance <laughs> against the, the Rhyhorns. Uh, anyways, Headstrong's done with the with the fight. Missed drill run. Kinda unlucky, so it's kind of annoying. We're yeah. gonna see Iron fight this ace trainer here. Yeah, drill run annoyingly does have that 5% miss chance. Yeah. So we're gonna see Iron 1 controller the Sophia fight. Oh yeah, no, he has Cracked Attack, so he can just do this. He doesn't need Helping Hand or anything like yeah. that. Yeah, Cracked Attack and level 27, he's in a really good spot. Yeah. If he can get level 28, he can unironically zip his out the Hypno. That'll be funny mm -hmm. to watch if he actually gets that. <laughs> uh, like, he has 73 attack right now. Uh, let's see, so he'll probably level up to like 75 or 76. 75 and 76 Zippy Zap ranges are still pretty bad. 4 and 5 out of 16. But you know what? He's already caught a Chansey. He can get some bad, bad odds. Yeah. Like, he, might he saw the Chansey. Points, but, he uh, caught the Chansey. Um, he, he, he saw and conquered or something. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Uh, you know, he chose to spend his luck on this race as opposed to buying lottery tickets. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, Headstrong's heading over to the content fight of the run. Uh, Clefairy is a very well-known Pokemon in the Pokemon speedrunning community and in history. Uh, it knows a very fun move. It is called Metronome. Uh, 
Metronome can select a lot of different moves. Uh, they can range from boring to extremely entertaining to uh, <laughs> like absolutely catastrophic. Uh, so we'll see what happens here. Yeah. Um, luckily for Iron, uh, we'll only be seeing one Metronome for content this run uh, because that he has the boring. he has the Nato King, which is able to just one shot the Fairy. Yeah. Uh, so. Nothing, nothing, much ado about nothing over on the left, mm -hmm. since uh, Scratch does basically nothing. Damage doesn't really mean, mean anything, because she's just going to heal it anyways. And we're going to see the rival fight here on Ironside with the Nidoking. Uh, we're going to be making use of having a Nidoking. Iron might, be, might also make use of having absolutely jacked attack uh, here. That'll be really funny. Yeah, I don't know if the... have to Thunderbolt the Pidgeotto, but if you have the attack to Zippy Zap, which he absolutely does in this case, you can just do that and skip the chance of getting Quick Attack. Yeah, and also, I think the Thunderbolt is still a range. Honestly, it might be, because all his AVs are in attack, basically. <laughs> so, yeah, he's going to use Zippy Zap, and Headstrong is going to get the Pidgey here. Bunch of birds out in the overworld there. Pidgey, Pidgeotto, Golbat of all things. Because that's the thing that's still spawning out of the support trainer. Gets the excellent. Iron's gonna fully set up this Nato King here, and now it's just gonna absolutely obliterate using Poison Jab. Yeah, Headstrong probably trying to hunt down the Jigglypuff that uh, yeah. is no longer marked. Um, which means she now has 48 Pokemon planned. And, yeah, she's not going to get it, so. So yeah, we're going to be good. seeing the Clefairy to Clefable evolution. Uh, mm -hmm. Normally you have like two, like three, maybe even four Pokes that you can Moonstone in your party in, in a run. Uh, Headstrong has one. And, well, she has one Moonstone anyway, so it's perfect. Perfectly lines up. Uh, yep. Uh, Headstrong also picking up the last uh, special move that we're going to be teaching our partner Pokemon in this run, Glitzy Glow, the second type. Also going to talk to uh, this weird uh, Chandler, uh, yeah. who, for the low, low price of 10k Poke Dollars will influence all the Pokemon in the world to have the nature you want them to. Uh, we'll use that to guarantee that the star you we catch later has a modest nature. Yeah. So we're going to be seeing a little bit of this rocket fight here. He's guarding his poster. Uh, don't know why, uh, but he has Eradicate, and it's kind of annoying, so... We're going to see Headstrong 2 controller this fight with Machop. And Machop has a fighting move, so that turns out to work pretty well, all things considered. It gets bit, but Brick breaks back for the one-shot. Yeah, didn't get flinched, so that's good. Gaining one 420 experience, just uh, perfectly balanced. Uh, so <laughs> Eevee's going to hit level 27. Still not have all that much stats, unfortunately, because my special attack kind of sucks. But it's okay. <laughs> uh, so what's behind that poster? Oh my gosh, it's a button that shakes the entire building. Wow, it's weird. Uh, so if only there was some kind of tutorial that would tell me that button was there. There's a hole there. in the wall again. Yeah. Oh yeah. So yeah, there's a hole in the wall. Headstrong's gonna go through it because if there's anything that this game teaches you, in the, it's that you should go through every uh, hole in the wall that you can find. Iron's going to one-shot the Skull Fairy here, so nothing to see here. No metronome shenanigans to be had, unfortunately. Yep. Uh, unlike Headstrong, I'm willing to bet that Iron is planning on cutting through the grass to pick up the Firestone that was there. Uh, that'll be used in a little bit to evolve uh, the dog into Big Dog. Oh! Oh my Never god. Mind. Uh, Iron with a very interesting pass on that spinner there. <laughs> But uh, yeah. it worked, and that's all that matters. 
yeah, choosing to forego the Firestone for now. Uh, there is another one you can pick up for the Pokemon Mansion if you still want to evolve uh, Growlithe. Yeah. So, Headstrong's through the, the Hypno fight. Uh, and now she's going to go over to another rocket. Uh, has a Rattata and a Voltorb. We'll see what Iron gets here in this grass here. Mm -hmm. He's missing a lot of catches, so there's a decent chance he'll get something. Eh, okay, never mind. It's not. <laughs> um, granted, he's in a very good spot overall with his catch. You know, everything yeah. on his tracker is either planned out uh, through, you know, being, re being required or on Route 17 or is gas. Yep. Uh, Eevee versus Rattata. We're going to probably see a headstrong setup. Yep. Setting up an X special. Going to use uh, what's its face? Bouncy Bubble to heal. Uh, we'll see how that looks against the Voltorb because she is my special attack. Iron's going to two controller this Eradicate fight. Uh, it's time to go go to that poster that totally doesn't have a button behind it. Yep, Bounce this bubble. is... It's a crit, so, like, who needs to worry about ranges or whatever? Uh, just crit. It's right. just that easy. Uh. Just simply crit your problems away. Easy every time. Speaking uh, of critting your problems away, she can do that again here on the Scrimer. Yeah. In the meantime, though, on Iron side, going to Iron Jab plus Zippy Zap into the Raticate. Uh, Pikachu has the button that says free crits here. Yep. Uh. Yeah, so we're going to see... Oh, Headstrong's going to two-control her this fight, so... She's going to X-Special the EV and then use Glitzy Glow. Uh, the very fun names continue here in this run. Yeah. On Iron Side, there are a couple of different strats that have been evolving for the Rocket Hideout recently, uh, including a recent development involving using the Rhyhorn for combat, as opposed to just being, you know something to, well, ride mm -hmm. on. Yeah. Ride and, on. And, uh, 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 not bad. I try, I try. Um, Hypnos, always terrifying. Uh, but should go down fairly quickly. Yeah, he has uh, jacked attack, so like, there's a good yeah. chance it's fine. I don't know how jacked the Nido King's attack is, uh, but yeah, just a headbutt coming out of the Hypno. He'll Nothing to, to worry about. It's fine. Yeah. So, heal back to full. Headstrong's getting turnarounds right now, so... Uh, let's see, do you want to explain turnarounds? Yeah, so, uh, Pokémon in their infinite wisdom decided to really emphasize the fact that your Pokémon are your friends, and you ally with them to do combat. So they introduced a mechanic called Friendship. Um, and if you remember that from back in the day, it mostly just determined how good Return was as a move. But in more recent games, they uh, really evolved it so that as your Pokemon likes you more, uh, they will occasionally, you know, cure status effects or uh, survive a hit with a that would otherwise <laughs> knock them out. But yeah. in Let's Go, there is a cost to it. Uh, in particular, uh, when your Pokemon has a certain amount of friendship with you, uh, you will start getting what are known as turnarounds, where when you uh, heal them or hit a super effective move, the Pokemon will turn around and be like, look at me, look at me, I did such a good job, tell, tell me what a good Pokemon I am. And... It's adorable the first few times, after which you're like, oh my god, this is eating way too much time. So a lot of the routing in this game, instead of just relying on our super strong starter, uh, we're going to be doing a main switch in a little bit. Specifically because at this point, our starter is just going to be turning around constantly. Yeah. Yeah, well said. Um, let's see. We'll also see in the levels spike in power power after like this and like the next segment but yeah it's just really annoying to see turnarounds it's so annoying that there are some very fun strats that have evolved on elite four fights 
out of just not wanting to see turnarounds. Um, yep. I am a huge proponent of some of them. I would, I and I will admit that. <laughs> but we're gonna go so, ahead and see so the. Where are we in hideout? Okay, we're gonna see the Grimer for Iron, and we're gonna yeah. we're heading over to Jesse and James on Headstrong's end. Headstrong setting up for uh, classic Jesse and James strats, withdrawing yeah. the Clefairy, especially because it needs to be Moonstoned. Um. But going to use that as a sacrifice uh, mon for the first round of the fight, letting her set up uh, in the face of two shockingly strong attackers for this point of the game. Yeah. So Jesse and James, they've spiked in power since the last time we've seen them. They have two evolutions, and we also have an evolution of our own. Uh, unfortunately, Fable's not exactly useful, so or actually, in this case, very uh, fortunately, I guess. So, goodbye, Clefable. And yeah. I want to see Headstrong try to get some damage off with Glitzy Glow. She has minus special attacks, so it's not exactly doing the most, but it's okay. Yep. Uh, but Glitzy Glow's uh, side effect that, you know, all these special moves have is that it sets up light screen, so any special attacks coming in are going to do half damage. Yeah. And we're gonna see Glare, which is annoying, but that's totally okay. Yeah. Like, it's rough that the Eevee was not speed outspeeding the Arbok, uh, but it's easy enough to heal off right now. Yeah. And yeah, Headstrong's gonna go for it. And then does not get the, one the plus four one shot, unfortunately. So, so close. So just gonna take this turn to heal. Um, finish off the wheezing. Get another turn around. Yep. And another one. But that's okay. But, yeah. Uh, Jesse James 2 is done. Yep. And uh, Aaron's getting ready to go ahead and fight the Jesse and James fight. I'm gonna use a potion to heal Middle King a little bit. It doesn't yeah. really need to be full HP, so he's just gonna not use the super. Just gonna and, save later. Yep. And, and Headstrong is about to head into mid archer. Mid archer? What? Well, yeah, as opposed to bad archer. You know, there's no good archer fight. All right. Here's the first archer fight. Uh, he's he's an admin of like Team Rocket or something, and like he he's a new addition to the Kanto games here in Let's Go. He plays a much bigger role in like. Gen 2 and like part of silver. And we're gonna see this wheezing get. Uh, probably not one shot to be honest because uh, Headstrong doesn't exactly have the best of special attacks. But she can. she can crit. Maybe not this time around. But that's okay. But yeah, uh. Iron's gonna be using Rhyhorn here for Jesse and James. I love this strat so much. It is just so much nicer than the withdraw your fairy and sack it. Yeah. So Pidgey's gonna be evolving after this fight. But here's the, the gold bat. We're gonna see if plus four Glitzy Glow will kill. Probably not. And luckily enough, actually it did. Okay. Oh, it crit. See? Uh -huh. Just your problems away. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Rhyhorn got rid of the Arbok on Iron Screen. Rhyhorn has a lot of it. So it's pretty good at taking care of this fight. Yep. So we're gonna see another and... drill run here, this time with Helping Hand. And it doesn't get the kill, but it's pretty darn close, so it doesn't really matter that much. So we're gonna see Nido King finish the job with Poison Jab. So Iron's gonna head over to Archer. You can't really use our uh, Rank 1 on that fight, so he's not going to do that. 
Meanwhile, Headstrong's healing to full to get ready for Giovanni. Uh, turns out Giovanni's been behind this all along. Uh, what? The leader of Team Rocket's in the Rocket hideout? You don't say! No, no way. There's no way. He's you know, probably I, off frolicking in a gym or something. There's no way. There's no way. You know, I do appreciate with how roughshod and, you know, deeply warehouse looking the rest of the Rocket Hideout looks. Giovanni's got, like, the plush op the posh office with, like, the carpet and the paintings, like, you can tell this man knows what a true executive deserves. True. You know he's in charge. Yep. Uh, Headstrong's gonna need to use Headbutt here on this turn just to get the extra damage needed to get the kill. Um, but that's fine. She gets it. Uh, we're gonna see Pikachu versus uh, Weezing on the right. Pikachu outspeeds this Golbat here, so we're not going to see damage on Pikachu or Nato King anymore. Yep. And oh. with the level 29 and, you know, 59 special attack, Thunderbolt should be a one shot here. Oh, yeah, no, it's absolutely, so we're good. He's going to heal not... Nato King's full for safety. And then. Yeah, Giovanni's done in hideout, so he's gonna move on. He's gonna move out of this, like, surprisingly decent looking office. Right? It's a little sad that, like, uh, it's a little sad that this office is so good, but then when you get to the Giovanni fight, you're back in, like, the normal hideout building. <laughs> <laughs> like, it makes sense yeah. you don't want to mess up this really nice office, but, like, it looks so boring. So, like, does he just, like, roll up the carpet so it's out of the way, or do you just, like, take it out of the hallway out of the office? I think I think you take it out of the hall- out into the hallway. Mm -hmm. uh, Headstrong's gonna skip the Ultra Balls in the hideout, because she, she's feeling good enough about her catch count. She can great yeah. ball stuff as well if needed, like, it's not a big deal. So, so. you got- f you, you do get five Ultra Balls from a- uh, trainer in Rock Tunnel. There's five that you can catch, but they're- Pick up, the, but they're a little out of the way in hideout. Yeah. Um, and then there's three more we'll be picking up in the Pokemon Tower. Um, I've seen people do anything from what Headstrong is likely to do, which is just uh, the five from earlier and the three in the tower, to picking up all of them. If you're yeah. feeling a little rough on your catches either both on the execution side or you just have way too much stuff left to catch. Yeah. Or, and there's also some people that, and apparently uh, T-Pat, who I shouted out earlier, he made the observation that there's actually a lot of runs that recently just don't grab any extra Ultra Balls, apparently. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's also yeah. a thing that can happen. Uh, Iron's done with the fight, and Headstrong is heading back to the tower. Uh, we're going to start getting encounters now, because we have the self scout. So, we might yep. see a Gasly. Uh, yeah, we might we're going to see what happens. We're going to air quotes start getting encounters now, because the spawn rate in the Pokemon Tower is so slow that it is entirely possible for either one of these runners to have a lure going and just run through the Pokemon mm -hmm. Tower without mm -hmm. ever seeing mm -hmm. a spawn. Because she can actually get a cube on here, so. <laughs> nice haunter. Uh... Everyone? The cube on Whisperer. <laughs> God, I, I hope that works. That would be amazing. Get a that would be really insane. Like, yeah. So there are some less likely spawns to get in Tower, Cubone, and Zubat. You can also get uh, Golbat and Haunter, obviously, but mm -hmm. those tend to not be stuff that people actually catch. We'll see how this glitzy glow looks, how it looks really bad. Oh no! Oh, nice uh, power Oof. glow and the toxic. Yo! But yeah, like... Headstrong getting a Cubone here will be really good, like... If the spawn rates were better, if the odds of getting a Cubone were better, it would be optimal to catch it here. Uh, purely on the back of, uh, you only, only need the one two. level. Yeah, and you don't you don't have to gain a Bone Ring at 26 either. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a Ghastly. 
Let's go. Ooh, didn't cross the heal pad, so. Also, is that a gas? Uh, again, a gold ad as well. That's pretty funny. Correct. Uh, so, uh. he's seeing headstrong Nanob this ghastly here, and then switch over to the great the, to the Ultra Ball, and get a nice throw. That should be guaranteed, so that's fine. Mm -hmm. Iron's heading up in, towards the third floor, and we'll see if he gets a ghastly of his own. Headstrong might not be done with catches here in tower. <laughs> Just yeah. We, fingers crossed. Talk, fingers crossed. About the, oh no, <laughs> Fable's gaining levels, guys. Uh, we've been talking up Tower Cubone so much. It'd, it'd be such a shame if we don't get one at this point. Right. But yeah, uh, th those levels were unfortunately effectively wasted for Headstrong uh, going onto the Pidgeotto of the Clefable. Oh no. Time to go get that Ghastly here. Uh, once the Channeler spins and. Iron can slip down and grab it. And then, yeah, Headstrong's gonna fight another Haunter. We'll see how the how the Glitzy Glow looks now. Yo, shoutouts to Iron getting a triple grade throw. <laughs> True. So yeah, Pikachu is now level 30. Which gives you a nice little level bonus for the Jesse and James fight. Mm -hmm. uh, time for this very sad cutscene here uh, with Cubone. We're going to see who that big ghost that we saw earlier was. And Cubone's here along for the journey as well. Not one that we can catch, unfortunately, but still a Cubone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Greatest arrival is going very, to be. Very sad cutscene. Yeah. Uh, yep, yep. You saw that one frame of of the player character, and the rest of the cutscene got skipped away. Very sad cutscene. Uh, we'll see if Iron wants to watch the cutscene for some reason in a bit, but we're not going to see it on Headstrong's side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One of these days, I will actually sit down to do a casual playthrough and actually watch all these cutscenes. Today's oh, not another, that day. Another Haunter shows up here. Uh, yo, yo. Not that Haunter is a catch worth catching, but it's still hype. Yeah. I, I've caught it once. Gets you like a few smart candies or something. So mm -hmm. absolutely worth it, right? Now we'll see how the spinners behave. Okay, they're not too bad for Iron, so he's on to the next floor. He doesn't really need a Tower Cubone, so or Tower Zubat, so probably not going to see him wait around for any more catches. Well, Fable yep, makes yep. another appearance here on the left on Headstrong's side. Uh, going to use a very similar strategy to last time where you bring uh, Clefable out. Uh, the enemy AI will see the kill on the Clefable and always go for it. Yep. So goodbye, Clefable. You did a good job. Thank you for your uh, sacrifice. And Rockhorn's back to finish the job. <laughs> Sad, sad cutscene over on the right. You know, for the one frame we get to see of it. Yeah. Okay, so... Arbok is down. So we're gonna see what Headstrong does here. Uh, she is... Oh, let's see. So she's gonna get... What's its face? Uh, Macho Machoke. After this fight, mm -hmm. so that's pretty cool. So she can deposit that yeah. alongside everything else. And she has a Ghastly, so... She can just use that as... And we don't get the kill on the Weezing, but Rhyhorn finishes the job for us, so that's pretty good. Does not get the 5% miss. Yep. Ah, I just caught a look at Headstrong's tracker. Um, I, I do appreciate adding the Magmar as the 50th catch. Yeah, so looks like Headstrong's plans now are going to be getting a Magmar uh, and just evolving the Vulpix. Uh, you can also catch it, you can just go for the Tentacle catch and evolve it to Tentacle if you want to go for that catch, but you can also just skip doing that by doing what Headstrong might end up doing here. Uh, 
Shoutouts to Dynam in the community for uh, routing out Magmar strats. <laughs> of all things. Uh, also, yeah. I'm doing the fight. Goodbye, Growlithe. Yeah. Going for uh, mo modern strats, um, you pull out the Growlithe um, for evolving as well as uh, sacrificing here. If you sacrifice it, you don't have to worry about getting, it getting experience on Route 17 or the mansion or anything. Um, it's actually just really smooth, and if you want uh, to pick up the Firestone, you can deposit the Rhyhorn and ride Arcanine for a little bit until you get your Rabbit Ash. Yeah, so Iron's gonna not go for the Helping Hand range here on the Weezing, and instead just heal, take the extra uh, turn around or so, and turn. Yeah, and the Helping Hand range is probably a 50-50 at best. Yeah. So Brock's going to give us some uh, Pewter Crunchies. Nice little staple of Pewter City. Uh, unfortunately, we don't get shirtless Brock's in Pewter City anymore, but that's okay. Because we get yeah. Pewter Crunchies now. Uh, they're, we, we crunch. item. they're very crunchy, I, I've heard. Mm -hmm. We hopefully won't have to actually use them. Uh, yep. But, but it's good to have. You usually uh, do you need them, so. Yeah. Between them and the Shiller Sable, uh, they are basically full heals that also work on Confusion. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to is... see mm, Ghastly enter the party, and we're going to see a lot of stuff get removed now. Mm -hmm. And Headstrong did the same earlier. And now we're on to Cycling Road, or in this case, Pokemon Road, because we don't actually get a bike in this game. Uh, they really uh, like this whole ride Pokemon thing, and we also do too. That's where I'm just going to go get that rat in the grass. <laughs> yeah, the two main Pokemon we are looking for on Pokemon Road are Ponyta and Doduo. Uh, obviously, you know, not hard required for either, but... Uh, Ponyta evolves into Rabidash, which will be our ride Pokemon for the rest of the game. It is the fastest ride Pokemon that we have access to easily. Um, and... Or no, Growlithe. Uh, on yeah. Uh, Arcanine's also available in Eevee. Uh, it's not exactly the easiest thing to get, so... Also, yeah. Headstrong's getting the Kingler Evolution now, so that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And then, once she gets... Ponyta and also the Ghastly Evolution is really good because then she can just kind of deposit everything and do whatever she wants with the party. Yep. Um, and the Doduo is nice because it means you don't have to hit a Fire Blast later. <laughs> fire Blast is fine. Also, Headstrong might just use Magmar to not use Fire Blast. Shouts to Dynam for being crazy. But you know what? He Hydro Pumps Agatha, so. Oh, you know what? Hell yeah. <laughs> Love to see it. And it's glowing. Um, that's cool. Okay. Gonna. Gonna save the Ultra Balls by raspberrying the. Uh... Oh no. Iron's trying to get the Pidgey here. So he'll be able to catch that Pidgey and evolve it up into a. Uh... Pidgeot. Pidgeot, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Luggy. I got you. Might not go for it. We'll see what what uh, Iron decides to do with that. It's a nice option to have in your back pocket, depending on how the rest of your catch route goes. Yeah, exactly. Shoutouts to that Kingler just shuffling around. Into right. That's that's sick. Uh, let's see. Don't need another Radcate. <laughs> oh, there's a Doduo, so let's go back. Uh, welcome oh. to Cycling Road, to Pokemon Road. Uh, nice little trainer skip here by just using that Pokeball to force yourself off of the Rhyhorn for a second. Mm -hmm. and that one is literally free as long as you hug the wall uh, enough. Ask me how I know it's not 100%. Oh, no, Doduo, stop it. Oh, okay. There's a Ponytail, so that's good. 
So Headstrong will now have a ride Pokemon. Gonna yep. summon help during the battle, or during the catch here. Yeah. Um, depending on how, how much else she's catching, which I think is going to be enough, you might want to go ahead and just rare candy the horse now uh, to get it evolved. Uh, but yeah. given the amount of catching it's Headstrong has candy. left, yeah. given the amount of uh, catching that Headstrong has left to do, I think she'll probably be okay without rare candy again. She'll probably, she'll probably just do it here anyways and get rid mm -hmm. of the... We'll see what happens. If we get a... Oh my goodness. Well, she can catch that if she feels like it, I guess. She's not going yeah. to, obviously. Yeah, like... Experience Ooh. on this route really doesn't matter. Yeah. It can be nice to finish off the long evolutions like... Uh, Cubone and Machop if you haven't gotten those yet, but... Otherwise, honestly, it doesn't really matter when you get some of these evolutions. Yeah. Like, yeah, if you're running into a position where party management becomes an issue and you have more than six Pokemon you want to be holding on to at once is yeah. where it starts becoming a bit of a problem. But if you... It's not yeah. like we're catching four experience for our main right now. Yeah. If you want to do that, you can get chances on this route. <laughs> <laughs> Stop me if you've heard this before. Uh, yeah. Iron gets two evolutions here, so that's really good. So you can deposit uh, three Pokemon. Again, yep. again no, uh, Haunter, Rhyhorn, Machoke. Yeah. Headstrong is gonna put away help here, because it's a ways out before she might get some encounters. She would like a Psyduck right now. Duck! 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 Oh, Duck. there we go. Okay, it's just that easy. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you just chant. ABC, always be chanting. Oh no. Psyduck attacks immediately. That's fine. Get the excellent throw here. Still a really good catch. Yep, yep. Stays in. Well. Easy. Okay, yeah. I think Iron is... Yeah, Iron has just finished up all those evolutions. Yeah, so now he can do another one. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna deposit his entire party, get Ponyta in on the fun. Uh, let's, see. let's see. I'm gonna quickly check his catch count. Okay, so Psyduck would also be good for him. Yep. Uh, looks like Headstrong has changed her tracker to put Tentacle back in as planned. <laughs> we'll see what it, we'll see if she gets one or not. Yeah. But she can put away help, leave this area, head over to the longest loading zone of the game. Also grab some silver raspberries before she gets there. So, we're, we're on Rapidash's now, uh, Headstrong's heading over to, uh, not Pewter City, what is it called? Fuchsia? Fuchsia. Yeah. So, welcome to Fuchsia City, home to a gym where you need 50 dex entries to enter. Uh, we don't have Wait, that yet, we're not going to enter the gym yet. Uh, What's a Iron gym? Into... I haven't seen one of those in like an hour. Yeah. Wait, is that? Oh, it's a Psyduck, okay. That's good. For a second, yeah. I thought he ran into an Eevee. That would have been funny. No, I don't think Pikachu can see me have. Yeah, you don't really want to be catching Eevees <laughs> on either version, uh, but it feels and... a little better in Pika, because it's a deck entry and you can make it two if you Firestone it. Uh, yeah. But we're going to get the Marowak and Pidgeotto evolution, so that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. As someone who's run uh, the Pika side of uh, Diploa, yeah, you do not like catching Eevees is rough. Yeah. So yeah, we got we got some evolutions. Eevee's learning Sea Skim, so that's this game's version of Surf. So it's time to go surf on the water. So that's pretty cool. 
Okay, it's sea skimming, not surfy surf. Got it. Yeah, this is one of the few moves I actually know the name of in this <laughs> game. Uh, but yeah, so... The balloon move, I don't even know what it's called. I call it fly, because I don't care enough. Yeah, um, honestly, it's... Just... Skim, I actually know the name of it for some reason. You know what? Good for you. Yeah, good for me. Uh, let's see. Let's see what encounters we get here on Headstrong's side. All right, there's... There's the tentacle, uh, which... Oh, one of the annoying use... things... One of the annoying things about uh, the Pokemon here on the sur while surfing is that you'll notice Headstrong isn't using the second controller uh, yeah. because the game does not let you use the second controller while you're surfing. It sucks. Uh, yeah, so Tentacle's in the ball, so that's good. And yeah. Iron's trying to pick up the Silver Razes. There it is. Mm -hmm. So there's a couple of silver razes you can get. And I will see. Okay, he's done with his route, so he's gonna stop leering, and he's just gonna head on over. Yeah. In the meantime, uh, Headstrong. Headstrong. Is still looking. Oh, there's a star. She found it. Yeah, she's looked at it. So it's time to yeah. go catch a star. You. Let's see what the catch Molly. points are here. Nice attack. Uh, that oh that is a one 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 four. That is a good star. Are you sure about that? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> no, no. no. <laughs> so because the CP is calculated based off of your Pokemon stats. For wild Pokemon, that's basically purely off a combination of their levels, their base stats, and their IVs. Um, because we're using a lure, all the po all the star use we're catching are going to be at the same level. Um, so the only variation we really have uh, for how good the star is going to be is from their from its IVs. Yeah. Um, as such, uh, that that variance goes from. Uh, 962 to 1171. So your average stars are floating around the 1069 range. Uh, 1114 is very much above average. Now, granted, where those IVs are distributed, who knows? Mm, they could all be in defense and attack for all we care. Um, the important part is that they're good. Yeah. So we're going to see Headstrong catch a coffin here. It's kind of annoying to catch, but it'll eventually stop shaking and it'll attack, unfortunately, as soon as it does that. So we're going to see Iron Go find himself a, a star you. Meanwhile, on the right, that coffin's getting in the ball, so I'm just going to stop looking at it. You know, it'd be hilarious if Iron got an 1115 star. Yeah, so <laughs> we have a, a high, uh, a new high on best CP for now, but mm -hmm. there's the star, it's off, off and... way north, so he's gonna surf way back up there to get it, but that's fine. Once uh, he gets one. With that coughing catch, uh, Headstrong is done throwing Pokeballs at Pokemon. Uh, yep. She is, all she has left are Evos and two gift Pokemon. And she'll have her 50 for Koga. Yeah. Staryu gets in the ball. So, Iron's done with that catch. Uh, chat saying that was a 1052, uh, which is, you know, just below average. Uh, but again, you know, you could have abysmal stats in the spots that don't matter and incredible yeah. stats in the ones that do. Like, Superior is wearing off for Headstrong. And it'll wear off in the man in the mansion for iron as well. Uh, but it's time to candy. We're gonna find out how good is this star. <laughs> yeah, I don't know my star U stat spreads and what they and how they uh, influence things. Um, 
but I'm sure folks in chat who know those numbers better than I do will chime in at the appropriate moments. Yep. Chat, you oh, the real MVPs. Can't really see what the stats are, uh, but we got a special attack AV, so it's got to be good, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, that's it. Eight. Eight. Yeah, what level at level uh, 45, that was a 93 special attack. What? And I did not see what the speed was. All right, this this EV, this uh, not EV, this star U is cracked. Uh, that is a 90 speed star U at 46. Uh, Chad is saying special attack is 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 good. Speed is meh. Eh, that's uh, good enough. Speed is good enough for it to not matter anymore. So like. Yeah. Yeah. This this star is just cracked. Yeah. Uh, all, also, all I'm that... the primer on the side, by the way. Yeah. All that matters is whether or not this uh, Starmie has enough speed to outspeed all of Blaine's Pokemon, which we will confirm as we're teaching Scald. Uh, 118 speed, we're good. We are faster than everything on Blaine. Yeah, 90, uh, 90 will, moon, will Waterstone into 118, and that's all that you really need. Mm -hmm. Like, it's nice to have, yeah. like, 130-something-ish speed, but, like, if you don't have that, all you need is 118. Uh, let's see how Iron Star is, by the way. Yep. Does not look as good, though I also can't really read the stats. The AVs are going all over the place, unfortunately. Yeah, that is a... By Dodrio. Uh, 81 and 83 special attack and speed at 45. Okay, it's pretty slow, but... Yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna see... Yeah. Kinda rough. But that's okay. So yeah, we have our Starmies. It's time to clear out the rest of the game with said Starmies. Headstrong is going to have insane special attack, which means she can do a lot of fun stuff, such as Hydro Pumping Agatha. Uh, Iron doesn't really have the fun special attack to do it, but honestly, if he goes for it, I'll respect him all the more because of that. Uh, he's also they, They've also taught uh, Scald and Hydro Pump. Jaryu comes with Psychic, so that's a really good move to have. We're going to be teaching Thunderbolt in a bit. Yeah, 113 speed on Iron Star right now means that unless he manages to get a level somewhere, uh, going to be outsped by both Rabidash and Ninetales. Yeah. So it's Ted time over on the right. Just like earlier, we'll see what happens. Headstrong bed healing to get the Dodrio back up and running. Mm -hmm. yeah, thank you for coming to our TED Talk. Yep. Goodbye, Dodrio. Again. Uh, Headstrong grabbing the Max Elixir. There's actually a rare candy here in the mansion, but most people tend to not grab it. Because yeah, it's a little you... farther out of the way than one that's later. Yep. If you uh, use a rare candy on the, uh, the, 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 the uh, horse, the ponytail, and you skip the rare candy on Route 6, you pick up that one. Yeah. So, Muck versus Grimer. Not that the Grimer's actually doing anything. Uh, Starmie's taking care of it. <laughs> Goodbye, Ted. We're gonna not yeah. see you anymore. But yeah, Chad pointing out that this is actually a really close race at this point. Yeah, this is pretty solid. Uh, so, it's time to take a quiz. Uh, turns out Headstrong knows all the answers already. The questions aren't exactly random. Uh, there are eight gym badges certified. Yep, that is correct. So, uh, what do y'all think, uh, what's the next question? Do you know your type matchups? Yes, yes you do. I don't know, um, I need a strange no British boy to know. tell me. Ooh, the swag, what's this? From, <laughs> from Headstrong. Uh, what's this and no are both correct, and they take the same number of inputs, but no. I'll just hit no, because people are boring, including... I will, I will say that, at the very least, the... Is that a ditto? 
Was that a ditto? He's not catching it anyways, but was it? I don't know. Looked like I it. Will, I will say that uh, the notes I use uh, only list false as opposed to what's that as a correct answer. Yeah. Yeah, you can answer what's that for Tombstoney. You can answer literally anything for the last question. Mm-hmm. And you have to give options work. Uh, All right, so... Uh, oh, why would you get burnt here? That's annoying. Okay, well, because so, you got confused in the first round. So Headstrong is going to go ahead and burn heal here. That's really annoying to have to deal with. But... And another confuse. Uh, let's see what Headstrong does here. Oof. Uh, she doesn't exactly have a full heal item anymore, so, uh... Let's see yeah, how this okay. goes. I believe the okay. answer is just cry. All comes off. Goes out once. Good. Let's do it again. This this is this is content now. Uh, Iron's doing the quiz. I'm pretty sure he's gonna get it right, so who cares. Uh... Yeah. Oh, it's not uh, that... Th- it's just that easy! Yo! And, uh, the only thing Headstrong has to worry about here is a quick attack, which is going to just hit him for chip damage at best. Um, on uh, Iron side, we do have to worry about the last two Pokemon being faster than the Starmie. Yeah. So yeah, hopefully Iron has burn heals. Uh, I think he actually does. Uh, not that you actually want to be using it. We're gonna get the Gold Duck evolution here on, on Headstrong's end. So it's time to see if Magmar uses Confuse right here on Ironside. Uh, it did. Of course it would. So, Spiller Sable away. No burn on Ironside, so saving a little bit of time on Headstrong here. You'll love to see it. See, let's see how the Nine Tails and Rapidash treat Iron here. Yeah. Blade. Oh my gosh, crit! That's really not fun. Uh, so, let's see what Iron does here. That is scary because is he normally you. I can't really see what his HP is at. It's red though. That's all I can see. Yeah, it's see. like twenty-five. So oh, I think fine, it's then. just outside of one-shot rage from Quick Attack. Okay, so he's gonna heal it anyways. Get a Flare Blitz. Get burnt here. That's annoying. Yeah, but luckily you won't take any other oh. turns of burn. Okay, lives. Lives. We're good. Right. We're through. We can breathe. Alright. Yeah. So, Headstrong heading over to, to Serge's Gym. Uh, Serge's Gym has a very classic puzzle where you need to find two uh, trash cans because they're going to be like switches for these like doors or gates or whatever the hell. Uh, it's a very hard puzzle, so it's going to take a while. We'll see how lucky Headstrong gets on it. So yeah, let's see. Let's see what she does. Yeah, like, My suggestion our... is she should pick the red can. Oh no, she's yeah. not going to pick that red can. Not even the blue can. Uh, what is she doing? Yeah. Oh. Oh, our, our, RNG out. here can be a little rough if you guess... Like, the the first one... Odds are good, you'll guess guess right the, the first time. There's a couple of different ones you can pick. Yo! Yo! It's what? literally the same every time they they, they yeah. just fix it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank yeah. God yeah. we don't have to do this puzzle legit. Imagine if like it was actually a random puzzle. It actually is random in like Heart Gold Soul Silver, and you've done like at that point like ten-ish gems already, so it's actually so yeah. annoying. But I mean, I think this, this is the first. Boring. I think this is the first version of Vermilion Gym where it's not random. Yeah. It's it's the only one so far. Yeah. Oh, Iron's talking to Rapidash. How's it feeling today? Oh, it's interested in Chop Down. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, I'm also interested in how Pikachu is turning the electricity into a blade to cut down some trees. Yeah. So, uh, Surge fight is trivial. We're gonna see Iron. 
ooh, take the right path to go find the go to the camps. That's fun. Yeah. I don't think I don't. That's the first time I've seen that. Honestly, not too bad of an idea. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this fight's very easy. Iron has already healed. Headstrong's going to heal. Kind of have to heal or like menu somewhere between Surge and uh, Sylph, anyways, because you do want to teach Thunderbolt. By the time you get to Sabrina and you want healed full. Yeah, I guess you could probably save that menu until you're done with Erica, but... Yeah, it's not really worth it. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna see... We're gonna see that nice little reminder that Headstrong Starmie is absolutely jacked. Uh, so yeah, gonna heal the full here as well. Gonna head over to Erica's gym now. Uh, gym, this gym requirement is extremely tough. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not gonna do this bit again. It's <laughs> just it. They ask for a cute Pokemon. You can show literally anything, and the game will say it's cute. But my favorite thing to do, because you know the follow-up text is, "Oh my God, I just want to bury my head in it." Oh is no. My favorite cute Pokemon to show is Muck. <laughs> because yeah. I am a jerk. <laughs> Yeah, Etchy is as cracked as he is jacked. Shout out Statue. Yeah, shout out Statue. Enters the tournament, gets world record on the first race. Says nothing. nothing walks away. Shows up for round two. Yeah, what is he gonna do next round? Just imagine. <laughs> 255, I'm calling it now. Oh, gosh. Dude's just gonna, um, like, he's just gonna be on 3-0 pace, and then he's just gonna, like,. Hydro Pump Agatha, and then get another world record. It's gonna be wild. Uh, anyways. Iron's teaching Thunderbolt, and now he's gonna fly over to uh, Saladon City. And get, go through the same gym. Yep. Um, you know, both runners uh, are... Have no vision in this game, so... These are all probably supposed to be fights that you're supposed to be actually, like, fighting, but, uh... We don't do that here. So we just don't, we just go straight to Erica. Go through this maze. Yeah, like, some of them are very clearly like, okay, their vision is at the end of the dead end when you make a wrong turn. But like, the trainer that, you know, we just saw up on the side of Headstrong's, there's no reason for her vision to be that bad. Other than Nintendo wanting to make a really nice game for us speedrunners. Yeah, uh, I'm telling you guys, Headstrong Starmie is as cracked as they are Jack. I saw them at Saffron City Mart the other day buying Grim Heels and Dolph Diapers. I asked what the diapers were for. They said they contained their full power, so they don't want these kids. They then plus two Thunderbolted Pidgeot out the door. Yeah, it's gonna be a guaranteed plus two Thunderbolt, I'm pretty sure. That'll be really funny. That's, like, beyond rare. Uh, there's not much to talk about in this gym, so like, yeah. This fight's easy. Next fight's easy. The fight after that's not easy, but we're not there yet, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. For now, we're just vibing. Look at we're just chilling. And appreciate all that white space from uh, Sandshrew to Nino King. Right. <laughs> Obviously, you can't get Sandshrew or Sand Slash in Eevee, but yeah, yeah. no Ninos, no problem. What a catch route. You know, when, when we're done with this tournament, I really want someone to sit down and do like a statistical analysis of like what the like rate of catching in each race is versus the listed like spawn rate for each Pokemon. Fair. All right. So I'm sure there's going to be some wild stuff. Yeah. We got we got a Kangaskhan in this race, by the way, y'all. Yeah. That was fun. Except it wasn't fun enough because uh, Headstrong decided not to catch it. I mean, to be fair, Iron did catch Rat Ten Chansey, so just saying, just saying.
Uh, but we're coming up on the blue fight. Blue fight is literally straightforward. Um, can be a little scary if you have a Rabidash as your part partner Pokemon, but with a uh, Dodrio as your partner, it is literally free. Yeah. Uh, it's also apparently free with Magmar. Uh, uh, with Ra Rapidash, you'd have to hit a Fire Blast. I'm pretty sure with Pidgeotto, it's also free, because you have, like, mm -hmm. Air Slash or something like that. Yeah. But we're going to be using Dojo, Dodrio uh, on both ends, probably. So, fun, fun fight. It actually looks pretty fun to just set up each other. So, Headstrong won't even need to set up Starmie, because 127 special attack is uh, a special attack. Oh my god. Guaranteed Scald on Charizard. Imagine that. Wild. Yeah. Flying back to Celadon City from Celadon City to get closer to the guardhouse. Closer to, what's-its-face, uh, Saffron yeah. City. Let's see it, if we get is... Porygon here. Okay, there's no Porygons. <laughs> it is still... Cute. It's still hilarious to me that flying back is actually faster than walking. Yeah. You see that a lot in other games, but it's, like, not as common in this one. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Iron's gonna go... What's Iron doing? Oh, right, he's doing the, the Saffron Chop early. <laughs> So yeah, Headstrong gaining even more special attack AVs, as if she doesn't have enough special attack yet. Uh, God! It's time for everyone's favorite fight in the game. Uh, and this is Archer Double. Also uh, known as Bad Archer. About five years to happen. Yeah. If uh, we're lucky, cool. it'll only take three years. You know, each turn oh, takes about a year for the Switch to compute you know, all the different parallel universes using an advanced AI algorithm. Yeah. So yeah, Iron's done shopping. He's gonna go ahead and get into Sylph now. And uh, let's, let's see what happens turn one. Turn one yep. highly determines how this fight ends up. So uh, where is Iron going? Iron's a little lost, but he's gonna find Sylph soon. There it is. Yeah, realizes he overshot, Time unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Alright. We still All don't right. have for turn one yet. Oh. Okay, Self okay. With pretend. Second best out poss possible outcome. Um, and a cruel the... will be showing up after this fight. Yeah. Love to see it. Yeah. Alright. Time to wait another few seconds before the game kind of decides what to do here. Uh, it's determining both the Muck and the Weezing's AI, as well as the Cubones as well, so it's not exactly the fastest of fights. Right, Weezing using we... Protect, that's interesting. Yeah, uh, Cubone that... will now uh, will be seeing this Raticate. We'll see if it attacks it. Yeah, I have seen Trace go for focus energy here, which is always uh, exciting. Yeah. Focus energy is really good when uh, Radicate's not yet out, because it mm -hmm. gives you a better shot at actually killing the Radicate. But uh, focus yeah. energy with Radicate out means this next turn is going to be absolutely meaningless, so unironically the best thing for Cuban to do here is miss Bone Ring. <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, really good a AI for, for Headstrong from the uh, the Rat. Using the Sucker Punch on the Cubone as opposed to the Starmie, which... Honestly, the number of times I have gone for, like, a attack here, thinking I'm safe out of Sucker Punch range and I got crit is a little more than I'd care to admit. Yeah, that's fair. But yeah, uh, that was, what, a four-turn archer? Uh, five-turn, I think. But it's fine. Uh, let's see yeah. how Iron's fight goes. Well, the blue fight's over, at least. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 
So yeah, for head- one double and now another. Yeah, for Headstrong, though, there really aren't any in- interesting fights until we get to Sabrina. Uh, Jesse and James... The last Jesse and James fight is just you press Psychic twice and win. Uh, the next Giovanni fight is you hit one special... X special attack and then press Scald a bunch and win. And then you finish up your yeah. Yeah. So, Arch Double. Welcome back to Arch Double. Uh, Iron, we hope you enjoy your stay here. May it be short and painless. Yeah, sure. Hey, hey, a girl can dream. That is fair. Uh, okay, well, we got the same start as last one. All right, all right. You know, still, uh, getting the Electrode off the board is way nicer than the Electrode deciding to throw Thunderbolts around. Yeah. Getting into that heal lock is no fun. Yeah. Headstrong had a rate, had a run, like, a week or so ago where she got heal looped and, like, I don't even know what else happened. It was just bad. Uh, okay, Bone Ring on Weezing doesn't really do anything, because Unfortunately, going to take care of it anyways. Uh, the Raticate, not Sucker Punching, Starmie would be really good here. But that's what you generally see, so we'll see what happens. Yep. If we're lucky... Nope, uh, we're not lucky. Um, I think you probably have to heal the star at some point here. Uh, well, okay, there's a Bone Ring, so, like, if Trace wants to Bone Ring again, that would be really good. Yeah. Come on, game, see the kill. See the kill. Bone Ring. Bone Ring? Yo, bone Sucker ring. Punch Miss, you love it. You unironically oh, wait, love it. Okay. Uh, Trace! So, yeah. Sucker Punch on Cubone was good, though. So. <laughs> so. Okay. Alright. And we're through the fight. <laughs> and yeah, with that, our. Uh, two racers are both done with their evos uh, once this muck finishes up. Yep. And just in time uh, to see Giovanni. He's in another hey. office. This time it's not his office. It's some guy in Self. I don't know. I think his name is Mr. Self. He's, he, he's I... here to do legitimate business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very legitimate. Um, yeah. Business in the sense that, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think people really die in Pokemon, so I don't actually know what the stakes are if you, if like this guy says no, but uh, there's, there's, there's very serious uh, stakes or something. I don't even know. You know what? Look, you know what will happen to your employees if he doesn't get what he wants. Don't worry, you know what will happen. I see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I assume they'll yeah. all just get fired. Which, yeah, as yeah, we yeah. can put in our modern is a piece Fine. worth the death. They're all gonna get retired, and that's that, that's all it is. Like they'll all just like suddenly retire, and like you'll never hear from them again. Yeah. In this new economic reality, we unfortunately have to tighten our belts and do a concerted. Uh, We're restructuring our company. And unfortunately, your role has been deemed unnecessary for our company's continued success. Our, our new vision. Our new direction. I don't, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, it, it, it's all the same. Like, you, you, you hit all the high notes. Yeah. <sighs> uh, let's see. So Jesse and James on Ironside. Uh, not exactly the most interesting of fights. Oh, actually, that's nice, though. Uh, Iron got Thunderbolt on Dodrio instead of Starmie, so saves a heal for Sabrina. Headstrong's going to go to the floor. 
Uh, we were on the seventh floor earlier after like one of those warp tiles. There's a rare candy and a Lapras. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. not in room as earlier, so we have to kind of go a little bit out of our way to get this Lapras, but still a really fast poke to get, so I'm just going to grab it. Yeah, and it's also, you know, just really nice because it's also where the rare candy is. And, you That's know, true. given that it's a gift Pokemon, there's no, like, missing the ball. Like. Yeah. Yeah. It's really nice to only have to worry about really catching 47 poke, 46 Pokemon if you count the starter. Actually, yeah. Yeah, here's Giovanni. Not that it really matters, so we're gonna see Headstrong circle down to the bottom of Saffron to go grab this uh, Porygon. You don't actually have to catch Wild Porygon. There, you can see them, which is always funny. <laughs> uh, Shoutouts to Joker Sleeps, who hates seeing specifically shiny Porygons. <laughs> Yeah. Because that's that's the thing that can happen. <laughs> uh Strong's gonna do some shopping. So this can be this is actually like the most interesting thing happening for a bit. Yeah. Uh, gonna get some hyper potions to help out with healing. Max repels are nice. Uh because we don't need to catch anything, so I might as well just repel all of them away instead of risking bad encounters. X special defense uh, for the purpose gonna... of tanking hits. Some X speeds to make sure we outspeed things while we're sleeping. And then we're getting some X special attacks and X defense for one very yeah, important yeah. fight. And, and 60 full heals because she's she's realized she's needed a lot of full heals for all the confusions and burns from this rape. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, 60 full heals should should be enough. And probably going to go to the end. Like to, it, uh, in his gym. Yeah, if RNG gets a little bad, we we might have to stop in uh, Indigo Plateau to pick up another pack of full heals, but that should be good enough for the rest of the run if RNG cooperates. Yeah. So, this gym is very fun. Lots of teleporter tiles. Uh, every time you go to the teleporter a little wrong, the game will harshly correct you. Uh, the game is partially correcting Iron for trying to talk to this guy from behind. <laughs> uh, I mean, you so can do it. It's just finicky. But yeah, like, the optimal teleporter movement is always awesome to see happen, but just, like, yeah. finicky enough that it feels random whether or not you hit it. Yeah. It's not the tightest of windows, but it does feel really annoying to do in a run. Mm -hmm. And yeah, and we're on to Sabrina, uh, one of the few gym leaders in this game that probably can't actually enter her own gym normally <laughs> if she was a challenger. Uh, actually, Brock can't can't challenge his own gym either. Uh, Misty definitely Misty? can. Yeah. Misty definitely uh. can. The Starmie is like level 20 or something like that, I think. Oh, jeez. Uh, no, wait, I, I, I looked it up. It's 19. So yeah, she she's good. Nine. Uh, No idea if Koga can. Koga, well... Uh, considering he doesn't use any other Pokemon, he probably can't either. Uh, let's see. Surge? Uh, I'd assume he probably has cut, or like he can cut bushes by himself because he's freaking jacked. So like, I'm yeah, just gonna like, kind of assume he's fine. <laughs> he, he he was in the army. Um, on Headstrong side, uh, first the... turn light screen. Nothing, not much going on. This is kind of a very straightforward fight. If you see light screen first turn, you just fully set up on the Mister Mime, and then it goes down to two scalds. The light screen wears off, and you just sweep the rest of the fight. Yeah. Iron's going through the gem, by the way. Uh, Headstrong's all set up, so this fight's done for her, basically. Just don't misclick, obviously. Specifically mm -hmm. here on the slow row. Uh, there's yep. one of those harsh uh, punishments when you mess up the teleported tile, unfortunately, on Iron's side. 
Uh, but yeah. yeah. Our runner's just about the Sabrina fight apart. Oh, oh my gosh. Ryan, what are you doing? What's going on there? Uh, <laughs> everything is fine. It's okay. I also mix my left and rights up all the time. Yeah, uh, well, okay, so Headstrong is going to have a little menu here, so, yeah. Iron's going to do the fight as well. Typically you see light screen turn one from Mime. Sometimes you won't see it, you might see it turn two. Apparently there's a chance you just don't see it at all, and you just set up two X specials and you finish the fight. I uh, personally think that's a myth, but that's just me. Apparently someone got it yesterday. Uh, I'm not sure if I believe it even though someone literally said they got it. Well, uh, uh, did, 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 we're not seeing it here, we're seeing the usual strats. Yeah. So yeah, Headstrong's healing to full, and then depositing most of everything in the party, because you don't need to gain random levels on all these things, but you do need to wrap dash in your party for riding it. So she's going to keep that one in there. And she has a 138 special attack at level 49, uh, just in case anyone's been tracking. Uh, yeah. This is where you uh, kind of break out the, like, that's a lot of special attack, or something like that. <laughs> um, for those keeping score at home, that means uh, you can hit the plus two scald on uh, both both of uh, Koga's Pokemon, where that's, you know, a range. Yeah. <laughs> Gen um, 6. Gosh, imagine. So, for now, we get to play a fun little counting game. Which is, how many, how many turns... Parts do you have? Well... Oh, yeah. Yeah, the, the actual counting game here, because, you know, both of these runners are incredible, have all their 50 Pokémon, which is, how many misses do you get from Protect, or minimize. Yeah, the standard is about three-ish, and unfortunately you can't really control when... Actually, there is one way to control when the AI wants to protect, and that's on Koga, but you don't want to do that. Unfortunately, we get a Toxic here, so Headstrong is going to go ahead and heal it right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is one a protect, protect turn. Uh, not that it matters. Yeah, but I'm gonna count so that as one wasted. Here. Yeah, I'm gonna count that as one wasted turn on Caden so far. Uh, because we actually all the poison. Yeah. yeah, sure. Yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah, there goes there's Caden, and now it's on to Koga. Uh, Weezing is the lead again. Let's see what Starmie's special attack becomes. 121? Oh, okay. He has another candy, so he can candy if he wants. He will. What? Okay, 127 and 127. Uh, so yeah. His speed okay. is fine now, and his special attack is honestly not bad either. Yeah. That's actually extremely workable now with the extra candy. Though he might get some turnarounds a little... He might need to be a little careful about turnarounds on Bruno. But that's okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. Here's Koga. Yeah. He's a ninja. In case he didn't know. Yeah. Do you think he can Hydro Pump Muck? Or, or do you think Headstrong, Headstrong she can like Hydro Pump uh, Muck? On the special I... attack? <laughs> Another toxic. You know, I don't know my calcs for this. At all. Yeah, so... But yeah, Skull she... can be a range on Weezing and Venomoth at lower special attack, but uh, where's Iron going? Uh, but yeah. with 138 special attack, it's definitely not a range. Yeah, no, uh, Headstrong is in a very good spot. Okay, that's one, one Misty to protect, protect, plus two Poison Heals. So that's like three turns off optimal. Iron's I'm turn now gonna... What you got, Muck? Okay, All right. so that's very normal. Not gonna be protect here, yeah. Mm -hmm. So probably Golbat gonna get down. on Beedrill. Goodbye, Golbat. 
Mark's gonna probably use Protect. Well, let's see what happens. Uh, the Scald goes out and oh, kills the Beedrill, no issues. So Iron protect is him. in a really good spot. And Kogan. So Iron's heading over to the gym, or to Koga, uh, as soon as he can find where to move. Yep. You, like, if you don't remember where the ledges are, the game has a nice way of kind of reminding you periodically of where these ledges are, so. Yep, the smoke screen effect. Um, Headstrong is going to pick up the gold teeth and turn them in. Uh, so, Randall, where do you fall on the gold teeth before Koga versus gold teeth after Koga, Koga debate? Uh, I've just been doing the before all the time, because mm -hmm. I started off of uh, Echi's notes, and his notes just say to get the, co the teeth before Koga. <laughs> uh, so, I just do that. Uh, Iron's fighting Koga, by the way. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Toxic yeah. is really not fun. So we're gonna heal the poison. Headstrong is gonna turn in those gold teeth. Uh, the warden's actually able to talk now, so that's good. And he's also gonna teach uh, this EV strong push, I believe. I think no, that's what it said. Push. It is one hundred percent pushy push. I will s see no arguments. Oh, Venomoth used to protect, but yeah. So EV learns pushy push, and. It's time to head over to uh, the last gym of the game. We still don't know who the gym leader is, but suppose rumor has it that the gym leader is here now, so might as well go take him on while, while we can. Yeah. By the way, uh, Starmie getting the one shot on the Venom off with Scald was in fact a range for Iron. 15 out of 16. So, you know, uh, nice I think little level 50, it's probably fine. Oh, yeah, I guess the, fine I, level 50. Yeah, I guess these are 49 ranges that I'm looking at in the notes. They don't have level 50 yeah. listed. And it was a 15 yeah. out of 16, so yeah, no, chat saying level 50 guaranteed. My bad! It's good, don't worry about it. Look, look. N normally, you, you just have enough special attack to not do level 50 for a Koga. Yeah. But Iron uh, <laughs> just isn't that lucky, so... Look, look, I'm just trying to sound better. No, yeah, yeah, you're doing fine, you're doing fine. Oh, yeah, yeah. Also, yeah, late gold teeth on Iron's end as well. Uh, let's see. As Time to we... get some Mega Stones that we're not going to use. And Thank here, you, you know, the wise wisdom from Professor Oak, you know, when our hearts meld, we Mega Evolve. Yeah, okay, does it work for me either, huh? <laughs> okay, Iron getting pushy push as Eevee definitely takes a look at a flower patch for something that will not come up. Don't worry about it. I'm not sure even why Eevee does that. So yeah, pushy push on Pikachu's side, and it's time for Headstrong to do the gym. Uh... Yeah, so this uh, right. gym has... Oh, what's up? Oh no, I left for a second. Ah, no worries. Uh, I just kept going. Uh, so Tamer yeah. Cole here is interesting because you... Do this fight technically earlier than you're supposed to, but you can still talk to him, so it might be intentional. Uh, but in particular, you want to talk to him so you don't have to worry about uh, yeah. him getting in your way of, of one of the conveyor belts. And if you mess up and go the other way, it costs about a minute 45. Don't ask me how I know. Okay, I won't. Don't look at my current PB either. Okay. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, let's see. Here's Ace Trainer Samuel. He has a Nido King. Uh, you can do a lot of different things with it. You can one control the fight with Hydro Pump. 
Uh, Headstrong might be able to psychic it, uh, but she's going to control her here. Yeah, I'll see what Iron wants to do with it. 138 uh, is not probably not the best range, but yeah. uh, two controller here is you know the traditional yeah. safe strat. Yeah, you can just stomp the to get that last bit of chip damage. Mm -hmm. Honestly. Instead of thinking about that psychic range on the Nidoking, King, what we should be discussing is the Hydro Pump range on Tamer Cole's Nidorino. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is what happens when you get me on commentary. <laughs> I mean, it's a psychic one shot regardless. So as long as you, yeah. you ha you're managing your PP well enough. Yeah. No super effective text, though. Uh, he, also, Headstrong's going to Giovanni. <laughs> and Iron's going to yes. probably Psychic twice on Cole here. Yeah, I there's a couple of... Ideas. Yeah, there's a couple of different uh, strategies for Giovanni that have evolved, um, specifically for the purposes of being safer for the turn event. Um, here it looks like Headstrong's gone in with just the one player, uh, probably going for a traditional setup where you use an X defense yeah. and then set up a X special attack. Um, there have been strats that have been developed recently that pull out your partner Ravidash uh, to do all your setup in one turn and go. Yeah. So Although, Samuel coming up for Iron, so we'll see what he does here. So far, Doug Trio is kind of doing normal stuff and just spam real quick. Yep. So, Headstrong might not have enough HP to go into the next fight just as is. She'll get a level, so that'll be nice. Yeah, 16 Iron is up definitely cutting it close. Oh, wait, you two controllers. He's blind. Okay. Yeah, looking at. I don't know what. Uh, Headstrong Starby's defenses. I'll try and pay attention to the level up. Nice one shot. Uh, it looks like he has like. Or it looks like Headstrong has like 14 HP, which at like any defense doesn't level to enough. Mm -hmm. oh, actually, it looks like 16. Uh, 108 defense. I think that was 141 special attack for anyone tracking yes. at home. Uh, yeah, no, that. You're gonna wanna heal that. Yeah. 18 HP is not enough. Yeah. So. Giovanni is down. Turns out he's been running this gem the entire time. Uh, but he's been too busy trying to, like, conquer the world or, like, do Mafia stuff and Team Rocket to actually run the gem, so. <laughs> but after that, Team Rocket is now finished. So, goodbye, Giovanni. Shouts that, uh... Persian that Giovanni has by his side that he just never uses. Also, right. what are you doing? Like, wait, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Mm -hmm. After the fight, where does that Persian go? Like, you don't even put it in his Pokeball. I, I, I'm sure it happened during the fight. Um, if you recall, Giovanni 1 does use Persian. Yeah. So I assume the Persian was just out, but as the fight started, Giovanni called it back and sent it off to a box. Yeah, maybe it's off, you know, chasing a Pikachu it saw running it outside or something. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, so Rapidash faints, so very standard fight for for Iron here. Yeah. A Rapidash fainting here is really good because now that uh, Doug Trio is done, this turns back into a standard one controller fight. Yeah. Um, because if you only have the two Pokemon, well, you're, it's like your support trainer was never there. You still get uh, the two control the the two controller lag, but like, it's not as bad as having to actually input decisions, like mm -hmm. stomping the air over and over again. Yeah, but like th th this game lags if you look at it funny. That's fair too. Uh, for those of you checking at home, Iron has 107 defense and 129 special attack. 
Over on Headstrong side, uh, we're doing uh, a very, very straightforward uh, rival fight, seeing Vileplume second, yeah. which is uh, not at all surprising. Uh, you set up the X speed here because your rival right. starter will never be the second one they th send out. Um, but you do need to set up the X speed before it shows up because we're still in the realm of non-dynamic speed. Oh yeah. Yep. It's a it's a it's a lesson a lot of people learn the hard way. So just good to do that. Yeah, I'm very glad I stopped playing VGC a little bit before I started relearning this run. Yeah. So, yeah. There goes the uh, what's its face the rival fight. Mm -hmm. As Iron is spinning out of Giovanni's gym after a very clean fight. So yeah, Headstrong is not going to have another fight for quite a while. We're going to be doing a lot of bad checks here, so uh, just in case she, we don't know if she already has the badges, we're going to find out again. Uh, looks like she does have the Boulder badge, so that's a good sign. Well, that's good, that's good. I, I, Now that you mentioned it, I do remember her fighting Brock earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I kind of forgot about it because, like, Brock didn't have his shirt off and all that, but, like, yeah. Right, right. Well, well, I mean, how would we have known whether or not he was wearing a shirt if we didn't fight him? Ooh, you're right. Well, no, we would have seen him at Celadon. Actually, oh, he wouldn't right, have right. It, huh? Yeah, speaking of Celadon, uh, we did actually make it all the way out to fight Erica. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, Soul Edge, once again, we have all 50 Pokemon we need. Okay, we have the Marsh Badge. That's a good sign. Yeah, I agree. Sabrina really is something. She really is. She really is. <laughs> uh, let's see. So last gym, last gym badge. Uh, I think we were in there a little bit earlier, but yeah, we do have the Earth Badge. Good, good, good. We got it from Giovanni before he took off, so that's good. And now we're at Victory Road. <laughs> hey, remember how we got Strong Push earlier? Pushy Push, yeah. Yeah. And so it's time to pushy push all these boulders. Yep. Uh, welcome to block and switch puzzles. All the hardest ones possible. Okay, so Headstrong's not going to one controller uh, Naomi here. Imagine, uh, <laughs> imagine if she did. Like, she has the special attack for, like, a turbo guaranteed hydro pump. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, you know, you just have to hit the hy Hydro Pump, and if there's one thing I know from my time playing VGC, shoutouts to Iron Bundle. Iron Bundle? Is that the Delibird one? Yeah. Oh, gosh. Um, no. Since it isn't in the game anymore, the best, like, standard water move it has is Hydro Pump, and it sucks <laughs> so bad. That's, that's rough. Uh, but the Hydro Pump landed, and with uh, 141 special attack, yeah, that's not exactly yeah. a range, it's just kind of guaranteed. Yeah, but... So, we're done with the fight. Mm -hmm. Let's see if Headstrong Hydro Pumps Hypno. <laughs> like, she has right? special attack for it. Like, it's not, I'm not even joking at this point. Yeah, 141 is a 9 in 16, according to the notes. Okay, that's actually not even all that good, but... Yeah. If she does do it, it would be so cool. Like, you know, 50-50s, pretty hype. Yeah. Though, you know, getting kicked I've, I've taken worse odds before. Way to... God, what, what would it be? The Celadon Poké Center? What? I, yeah, I don't know. I'm just trying to think of what the downside is. Wait, what? To what? Uh, well, I guess, I guess Hypno isn't really threatening, so it doesn't really matter. Unlike, you know, it has the hypnosis. previous fight. Oh, well, why would I say it has hypnosis? I shouldn't have said that. that. <laughs> you really shouldn't have said that! Hydro Pump. Yes! Let's go! Let's go! Oh, Alright, this game's just that easy. <laughs> Literally free! Always hit your 50-50s. 
And then the 80% uh, actually hit. Don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. 80% of 9 out of 16. Uh, I'm not really doing the math super fast, but like, pretty good odds. And think yeah, about how yeah. fast it is if it does, if you do get it. Right. Uh, Just think about how fast it'll be and how awesome you'll be if you hit it. 45%. That's not bad. That's yeah. only a little bit worse than that chance the iron went for. <laughs> <laughs> and he got it eventually. It only took like four tries. Yeah, four tries. That's yeah. not too bad. At least yeah. I didn't run away from him. I was so I worried. I wasn't going to say it, though. Goodbye, Rapidash. Uh... It's we fine. hardly do ye. The fight's over anyways. Oh yeah. So yeah. yeah Not you don't having think... any pokes left means that on Hypno he won't get the experience share text box, so that's good, mm -hmm. right? Also, Headstrong's about to do a fun trainer skip eventually. Yeah. There we go. Shout out to Alexa skip. Goodbye, Alexa. Uh, nice repel wear off right there for some reason. We'll see if Iron Hydro pumps it. No, he's not gonna Hydro pump the hip. No, <laughs> he doesn't have the for it. Yeah. Um, for Caroline here, uh, Scald is not guaranteed on Golbat, but I'm pretty sure it's a dang good range. It oh, might this be is after the level. Probably guaranteed. Nice dodge. And the Hydro Pump lands. So goodbye, Jinx. Yep. Get strong. Hydro Pump back. <laughs> uh, uh, let's we'll see what this special attack is now. It's 145. Never mind. Never Scald baby. is a one shot on uh, Golbat. Okay, not gonna go for it though. But that's okay. Uh, let's see. Iron has to Scald this Hypno because that Thunderbolt roll kind of sucked, and he also just. His special attack also sucks. Mm -hmm. So a little bit of little bit of time loss there, but it's okay. Yeah, not the worst. Yeah. And one last pushy push, or one last set of pushy pushes. Or heads uh, here on the left. It's the longest mm -hmm. bit of pushy pushing. Yep. Uh, we pushing. We pushy pushing this uh, this uh, boulder. Took me a while to say that correctly. <laughs> uh, nice little officer Jenny free heal here. So that's why all the PP is back. Yep. Uh, which means that with Alexis Skip, as long as Dawson goes well, um, we won't need to do any more pit stops. We'll be able to just ride our healing items all the way out through the rest of the game. Yeah. Who said we were fighting Dawson? Oh, wait. Uh, the category? Dang it. Dang it. Nice try. Imagine, nice try. Imagine if, like, Sandy or someone, like, does the mount skip and then just talks to Dawson afterwards just to flex. Uh, here's it the Alexa skip, by the way, for Iron. And... Oh! oh! Okay, well, I don't know what that fight is, but it's probably not too bad. Here's Headstrong's uh, Dawson fight. Yeah, it's in the notes. It's uh, not that bad, though you will need to uh, stop in the Indigo Plateau Poké Center to uh, get some Psychics back. Yeah, or you can Hydro Pump Agatha <laughs> to save your Psychics. <laughs> um... You, you, you could also... Th there's also some other things you can do, including... Think, yes. Or, yeah, you can go get Jenny again. Or you can hide your pump back at the... <laughs> so the good news is, if you, if you don't want to heal, you can get away with only using one Hydro Pump in the Agatha fight. More if you miss. Yeah. But yeah, no, like, you can, depending on how Iron's feeling, he can either uh, take the safe way out, which is just heal the Poké Center, or, honestly, hydro, hydro pumping on the Agatha fight 
is a reasonable play here. Um. Yeah, looking at it, Agatha's wheezing is one shot by Hydro Pump if you go for it. Yeah. Um, and if the Starmie gets another level, the level 53 Gengar probably also is. Yeah. Oh, there's the lovely kiss landing, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, let's see how Iron's uh, special defense drop is annoying, but it shouldn't matter if he hits. Mm -hmm. It's just that easy. Alright, let's see what Headstrong does. Uh, we are on the Lorelei fight. Uh, plus four, and it'll be. And she has so much special attack. There's literally no risk to it. <laughs> that's oh, that's not fair. Oh God! Yeah, no, I didn't. E I didn't even look at what the plus four scald ranges are. Jesus! This isn't fair. Okay, so Headstrong is going to set up to plus four. A lot of a lot of runners are probably going to set up to like plus six. But uh, when you kind of one forty five, or I don't even know what she has at this point, special attack. Yeah, you don't really need to do that. Yeah, and for those keeping score at home, when we say plus four, we mean use two X special attacks. Each one gives plus two stages. Yeah. Uh, because we live in the strange future of the seventh generation. True. So yeah, Lapras is a guaranteed range, and then Jinx is a guaranteed Scald, so we don't even get to see a Hydro Pump on Jinx. I mean, Headstrong can just do it for fun. She's not going to. Yeah, like, no sense in throwing. Let's be, to be clear, Hydro Pumping Jinx there would be throwing. But will Iron Hydro Pump Jinx? He probably won't. He'll probably just set up to plus six. Yeah. But. Because of the way that the tournament is structured, um, Iron. Oh, you went for the mouse skip. That's <laughs> pretty funny. It's the swag. Uh, I didn't get it, unfortunately, but... Uh, so, since Iron is playing for second place right now, um, because, you know, Headstrong with as jacked of a Starmie as she has... Yeah, she can still die. Really... <laughs> it, it, she, she can still... You know, you know, die, but she does have a commanding lead. Yeah. All she needs to do is not die, and she wins the race. Iron, on the other hand, is playing for second, and because of the way that the tournament structure has worked, needs to make sure that that is a second place with as low a time as possible. Um, so the question is whether or not he wants to go for the risky plays to try and improve his standing as best he can to see if he can remain in the upper bracket in second place. Or if he wants to play it safe, maybe yeah. not get as good a time, but also not run the risk of completely whiffing the second place time scores. Yeah. Because even if you do get hit... Oh, nice. 149 special attack for your Uh Back to my point, I guess. Uh... If you do get locked, knocked into lower bracket, your time still help with the seating for that round for your lower bracket match, so. But if Iron does go for Hydro Pumps, just imagine how much I'm gonna pop off. It's absolutely the wrong play, but. But, you know, I'm gonna love it. Uh, but yeah, Headstrong, and because she has another poke in her party, she can get Stealth Rock from Onyx, and that's what she got, so took no damage on Bruno. So it's time for her to face Agatha. Yep. Um, she does not need to Hydro Pump Agatha, uh, though she, she, can. Will, she will get benefit from doing so um, at this point. Uh, because basically, during this run, we were talking about turnarounds earlier in the ghost area. Uh, we're back in the ghost area. We're talking about turnarounds again. Here we go. Uh, so, I just... Yeah. Yeah, yeah we, 
w w we're needing. However, um, if Headstrong did decide to go for uh, Hydro Pumps here on Agatha, she would most likely be skipping some turnarounds from Starby, which is time save. But again, she does not need the time save. She just needs to not die and win. Yeah, so full restore to get back to full and get rid of the paralysis here. And then we're off to the races for Headstrong. Unless she does go for Hydro Pumps, in which case we'll have to see them hit. Here's Iron's fight. Uh, I think he's set up to... Judging from the HP, I think he's set up to plus four, but it's kind of hard to tell because I didn't see it. Yeah. We'll see what he does here on Jinx. If he's at plus six, he'll just stall and have an easy kill. Okay, if so not, it's Hydro Pump. Alright. Wait, did we get a Hydro Pump? No, that was a Scald. Oh, yeah. So, Agatha's down, Headstrong's not going to be doing any Hydro Pumps. And Iron is done with Lorelei as well, so we'll be off to Bruno. Iron's probably going to heal here, though he could try to just go through the uh, Bruno fight without healing. At this point, both of our runners hang in their respective fights. Uh, nothing really to talk about, uh, until we get into the next fight, where... Oh, I was uh, not healing. Okay. Yeah, I guess he's feeling confident about the Onyx Earthquake, uh, damage rolls. No, he definitely lives it. Mm -hmm. And he also can get, uh, what's-its-face? Stealth Rock. So yeah. Headstrong is gonna head over to, uh... Uh, who is it? Lance. Lance. Uh, the question I, I is what? Yeah, the question is whether or not she goes for the two C strats here, or nope. Gonna okay. risk it. Uh, this is a very safe fight. Twenty three of twenty four times. <laughs> yeah. All right, HPAV for Iron. And uh, that is a one thirty five. 135 before special attack and speed on our inside. Yeah, well, he's getting turnarounds. That's a, that's a little unfortunate. Yeah, the, the extra rare candy sense. would do it. All right, we see a Dragon Pulse into a Hyper Beam on Headstrong mm -hmm. side. One more at special attack. See another yeah. Hyper Beam. Another so we're good. We're gonna take the I'm moment. Just gonna to heal, heal instead of risking the hyper beam crit here. And we're good. We're off to the races. Yep. Um with this Starmie, I don't think there's any ranges left. Yeah. The only thing that would be left is plus two Thunderbolt on Pidgeot. Yeah. And it's probably not gonna end up actually guaranteed, but it'll be like so close that it's basically guaranteed anyways. Yep. Uh, when Iron's the star meat levels up, up, I will take a look. Yeah. Iron's healing to full for Agatha here. Okay. Yeah, the plus two Thunderbolt is a 14 out of 16. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. It's better than a Hydro Pump. Yeah! So, yeah. Sometimes Dragonite can be a range. Uh, this story, yeah, it's obviously not. But we'll see what what Agatha has in store here. Nice Power of Love turn one for Iron. So that's pretty good. Okay, not going for double Power of Love. Gotta respect that. And now, uh, he's going to set up an X-Speed here, so we're not yeah. quite off the races yet, and yeah. we're good. The Agatha fight has a couple of different scripts you could follow, um, and including 
uh, the route where you get that power of love turn one r right away. Yeah. It's, it's honestly a really interesting fight. Yeah. It's about a 15% chance to break out of that Paralyze on any turn. And you get two turns to try to break out of Paralysis and save the Forest Store. So it comes out to about like 36% of a chance to get a Power of Love at some point. Iron's just going to finish the fight with a bunch of Psychics. So it's time to see Headstrong do Champ. Yep. X Speed. And then X Special, I'd imagine. And do what this Pidgeot wants to do here. If it kills Pit Rapidash, that would be amazing, but I'm pretty sure that's not going to ha happen. Yeah, the dream. Nope, goes for the Starmie. Knocks the Starmie down super low. Yeah. So into a turnaround cool. range. It's over. Yo, let's go. Didn't even get a quick attack. Not bad. So yeah. Iron's gonna be doing uh, Lance here. Headstrong's gonna finish with a 309-ish, it looks like. So... Yeah. Well done, Headstrong. And let's see what happens here on Lance. But yeah, while, while we get set up for Lance, I just want to shout out again that this run has been incredible. Like... Having two runners one Elite Four fight away from each other is ridiculous. Yeah. Especially with both of them on uh, sub to low 310 pace. Yeah. Let's see. Iron dodging Hyper Beam, so that's good. So yeah, he's off to the races. Uh, he probably will be fine for Dragonite, but I'm not too sure. It might actually be a range, but he'll be uh, fine. Dragon... Dragonite is guaranteed at 140. Yeah. I don't think uh, he's there yet, but well, let's find out if he is or not. We'll find out together. I can't read it, so... <laughs> um, so it yeah. is legible on Twitch. Uh, 137. Okay. 137 is fine. It's a 14 out of 16. It's the same range that Headstrong got on Pidgeot. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, like, much lower stakes for her, but... <laughs> <laughs> but it's fine. Um, and Headstrong has officially finished all randomness, all combat. It's victory Dragon bashing Cap? time. And here's the Dragonite. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, okay, so Iron's bringing out the help. Okay. The rapid dash is in, so it's going to be time to heal while going for the range. Okay, maybe not. Nope. Uh -oh. Going for the stomp to finish off the rate. Okay. Didn't, didn't even matter. Didn't need it. You just gotta believe every time. I do not blame Iron for pulling out uh, the rapid dash for safety there. That was probably, at the end of the day, exactly the right call. Yeah. I completely forgot about it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 310, 14 for Headstrong. Not painting. So, yeah. Iron's gonna heal. Uh, huge congrats to Headstrong for winning here. Uh, we might be having her in for an interview soon. Yep, yep. And regardless, we're gonna have a champ fight, so let's have a fun time. Indeed. Uh, first, we gotta skip the champ cutscene. Which, oh yeah, that's a cutscene. Uh, every time I start de-rusting this, I completely forget about. So yeah, let's see what Champ has in store for Iron.
Oh my gosh, a Mega Evolution. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Going for plus four Thunderbolt, unfortunately, but that's fine. I mean, we we oh, all in a world where we all had Starbies as good as Headstrongs. True. You just wouldn't have to do that, right? Oh, wow, Slowbro comes out and to controller champ. Okay, so Iron's gonna set up to full. And as long as, like, yeah, he's not going to get any random stuff, so he'll be fine. So the fight is over for him as well. So GG's to him. <laughs> yeah, this is actually going to be a really competitive time uh, for staying in the upper bracket. Yeah, for sure. Hi. Hi! <laughs> Hey, Headstrong, congratulations on your win. Thanks. <laughs> so, about that Starmie. That Starmie was silly. That... How did you get it? <laughs> what did you... <laughs> Which um, gods did you pray to? Uh, all the ones that apparently hated me for everything else. <laughs> we ignored them. <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, it was still good enough to pull out that W. Yeah. Yeah. Bad was two optionals. Really strange catch route. Yeah. And it only looks like even weirder on the tracker because it shows like San Sandshrew and Sand Slash. So it's just oh. a giant like giant just white emptiness. space there. Yeah. Yeah. Pokemon just didn't want to show up. At first they were, I was like, okay, I'm fine leaving without the Ninorans, and then nothing else showed up ever, and it was just like, okay. Yeah. I was, yeah. I was hyping up Kangaskhan on stream, and you just, like, and then you immediately get one, and then you just ignore it. And it's like... <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't have Ultra Balls, I didn't want to do it. It was a little heartbreaking. Yeah. Uh, I noticed the Magmar being highlighted and planned and then turned off. What was your thinking around that? Uh, I was gonna do Magmar and Nine Tails if uh, I didn't find Psyduck, mm -hmm. and then I was gonna do Tentacool, Nine Tails, and uh, Magmar. But then the Psyduck showed up, so it's just like you know what? I'm gonna catch the Tentacool instead of trying to catch a Magmar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fair. And Iron's finished now, so that's really good. Yeah. Oh. Howdy. 314 for him. Hi. Oh, hey, Iron. Congrats on finishing. Congratulations on finishing your race. GG's almost, almost got pie out of your time, so that's really good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So yeah, how do you feel? Um, I've I've learned one very important thing: is never listen to chat. <laughs> what? Excuse and me. Randall. What now? Hey, you hold on a second. <laughs> uh, that, that Chansey, man. That was a mistake. <laughs> yeah, four tosses to get it in was definitely on the rough side. After the third, I really wanted to run, but it was like... You were committed. It's better than a coin flip, Dynam. Like, <laughs> I should get it within three, but yeah, no, I was... That was okay. There's some weird, a lot of weird stuff happened, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you guys see how many freaking Pokemon were spawning at the beginning of the run for me? Yes. Oh, yeah. My like, course was just ridiculous the, for both the of you. For, the forest, there were so many things. Moon, everything kept spawning everywhere. Yeah. I felt like I was just constantly dodging everything at the beginning of the run. But yeah, um, with this uh, headstrong, you uh, advance directly to the upper bracket. 
Yeah. Um, Iron, you are currently in third for staying in the upper bracket on time. I would say you have a pretty good shot at it. That Just looking like a good at shot. it. Um, yeah. The current leader there is just a minute and a second faster than you. So how are you both feeling now that you're done with your race fairly early on in the first round and looking towards round two? Hoping things go better in round two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and they will for both of you. Like, y'all both had some really strange stuff happening. I don't think you're going to see nearly as good of a Starmie ever again, Headstrong, but... No, I had no yeah. idea what to do with that Starmie half the time. I was just like, can I skip this? I don't know. I'm just going to do it normal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like the, you could have the... hydropumped Agatha. I thought about it, but I didn't want to. <laughs> I, I looked at the all... bottle. I looked at all the ranges, and it was 100% for everything, but... <laughs> It wasn't worth it. Yeah. And then I thought, I, I was curious. I didn't know what the range was like, but the Jinx in Victory Road, does anyone know if I could have scalded that? Yes. Uh, probably. Let me, I, let me pull that up real quick, because uh, I that have was, that up. Because uh, that was like Jinx a in Victory Road, uh, Scald was guaranteed at 144. Oh, yeah, I could have scalded then. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. I thought yeah. I could, but I wasn't sure. Yeah, Iron, I had a, what I end up, 154 special? Yeah, I was kind of, I was kind of following along in the, in the chat. That's, that's, that's so yeah. correct. <laughs> it, it is worth noting that your Starby had the highest CP of anything seen on, on the tournament streams thus far. That's yeah. the highest CP I've had in three and a half years. Checks out. <laughs> yeah. That's not so. even the that's not even the characteristic for special attack either. Wait, really? I got very finicky. That is not the characteristic <laughs> for special attack. Yeah, you were getting like a, a lot of special attack AVs too, so that was really yeah. good. Must have really been favoring the nature. Yeah. Nature and just the natural special attack. Yeah, speaking of natures and characteristics, uh, both of you had some really interesting starters. Yeah, my starter sucked. <laughs> like I said, really interesting. <laughs> yeah, and Iron is just like getting the most cracked attack ever. Siestas. Of course, this Eevee had siestas. And mine was naughty, but I didn't get a lot of good experience early on, so I couldn't really take advantage of it. I um, had, what, what do I have? I kind of made it up towards mid game, but. I yeah. careful. That was mine a special attack. Missed a lot of random ranges in the mid game. Yeah. Any yeah, last... any... Uh, yeah, I was going to ask the same thing. <laughs> yeah, any last minute uh, comments, shoutouts, whatever, from the two of you before we wrap things up for the evening? Uh, that Blaine was horrible, by the way. I got confused, and then I didn't know what my speed was, so I just healed. I guess, I should know, I, did I heal? No, I didn't heal on Rapidash, but Rapidash crit me with Fire Blast. Then I healed on Ninetales because I thought it might be faster than me. And then it used Fire Blast and burned me. I think I, I had the same that. issue because I, I got confused. And then I got burned uh, by the Magmar. And then I messed up and healed the burn in the middle of the fight. And got confused again. And the hit through confusion. Oh, and then luckily... And then I got... And lucky on the second Pokemon and snapped out of confusion immediately. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. We all just watched, we were all watching you go through the confusion. It was going to be like this big thing, and but then like turn two, you snap out. It's like, oh, okay, that's even better. Yeah, I was worried about that. But my last thought would be don't make stupid, nervous mistakes and catch Pokemon when you're supposed to and don't ignore them. Mm hmm. 
Yeah. yeah. R- r- race nerds uh, come for us all, but hopefully, now that you've had the experience, uh, things will go a little more smoothly next time. Yeah, I, would, I, yeah. I hope just so. not getting rattled when things go wrong is 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 the thing. So yeah, like yeah, I got really I got really rattled after I hit the second optional. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mental game in these sort of no reset settings is always really important. Yeah, but sure. this whole game is very mental, like. To like get a consistently good time, you don't necessarily need like the greatest RNG. It's it's such a mental run. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. But like, once again, GG's to both of you. Congratulations on you know two incredible runs of you know one of the best speed games out there. Yeah, thank you guys for commentating, and then also thanks for a great race, that's strong. And yeah, also thank for you, race. Tech, for doing a great job. Yeah. yeah thanks, thanks, everybody. <laughs> Huge shout-out I hope to everyone, everyone enjoyed. Yeah. Aspect on Tech was just great. And we also see Aspect mm-hmm. on screen right now. Uh, Aspect has his race coming up on Saturday. Uh, we also have a race coming up tomorrow with Joker, Spider, and Jay Tattles. Uh, that'll, and... Be a, that'll be a banger. And we'll see and... what... Joker has planned for us. Oh gosh! <laughs> and of course, <laughs> on Saturday we actually don't have one, but two races, effectively going at the same time. That's yeah. going to be really exciting because, like, you'll leave one just in time to hit rock rock tunnel if you uh, hop off the aspect Jim B and Phoenix race to go yeah. watch King Trubs. We're My really advice. Going- Double monitor. Yeah. <laughs> We're really going global on Saturday. We got the Australia, Canada, uh, Germany race. Canada. Canada, <laughs> yep. And then and then we got, uh, I think it's like US versus Brazil, and I don't really know where Drywall is from, but mm-hmm. it's going to be absolutely insane. So, yeah. You don't want to miss out. Uh, we'll catch you all later. Thank you all for watching today. Yeah. And um, if we're raiding somewhere, no one's told me where it is. Oh, Edgy streaming? Wait, who's Edgy? Ooh, we can go there and tell him to Hydro Pump Agatha. It's great. Yeah, uh, he is doing some practice. Um, currently in Mount Moon. Yeah. GG's everybody.